start it. Start it. And we're live. Welcome. I love that. Whenever I start playing with the buttons when the guest is here, it is always like, is it happening? Are we starting? And it comes through and it's echoey because I haven't turned off some of the buttons, but welcome. Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, uh, where we play new games on classic consoles and we're broadcasting from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. That's right. And tonight we have something very special that uh, UPS uh, kicked around a little bit. Quite severely by the looks of things. Yeah, hopefully it didn't impact what is contained inside here. Now I wonder what is in here. Mm -hmm. uh, it is the Retron 77, which is not available in anywhere <laughs> except for the United States. And like I said, we're broadcasting from Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. So I had to actually go to the U.S. and pick this up and order this and send it to a P.O. box and pick it up today because I was alerted that it came in today. And I'm very excited because I think we're one of the very lucky few who got this this early. I saw a couple people posting pictures. Mm -hmm. And of course, there was the two big reviews by two big gamers that uh, did a little early review of some early releases of this like a couple weeks ago. But I think we're the first uh, first ones to stream. An unboxing and a playing and have... No, it's not busted. Don't say that. <laughs> <laughs> and to actually play the games because we're all about homebrew games on this channel. We're called Zero Page Homebrew. And there are four homebrew games contained inside of this. And there's some more homebrew games coming to later versions of this. And I think they have already posted the image file for the SD card that is on here. So I'm expecting that they'll update that image file with the new games that they're going to be putting on. Um, I know one is Amoeba Jump that uh, we have played. Lots of fun. And there's some other ones as well. And I suppose to says his tracking says July 10th tomorrow so otherwise you'd be playing it not tuning in you'd be like no nah, <laughs> i'm playing true. my own so we're going to be opening this one and taking a look at what is inside mm -hmm. now how much do you know about what this is a little bit just <laughs> what i've learned through osmosis from you <laughs> yeah oh I... by the way i'm james and this is tanya hi hello <laughs> <laughs> um, not a tremendous amount. I mean, I know it yeah. plays, you mentioned that it plays some of the old Atari cartridges. Yeah. Uh, 2600. Yeah. Um, is it exclusive? Exclusively the 2600 cartridges? Yes, it is. And some people were a little disappointed with that. Um, we'll get to the disappointments and mm. the goods and the bads uh, in a little bit. And, and I also know you were saying that not all games would necessarily play on it some of the more modern games won't so. yes that's uh, right yeah but... yeah so yeah let's just go over the good and the bad right now <laughs> the good is it's a modern console it has hdmi out and that's really the big deal about this it's smaller footprint um so it's very portable plugs into like a usb connection so very common power you don't have to search around and get those multi adapters to to make it work mm -hmm. um yeah the hdmi out is 720p so that's a very nice clear signal you don't have to mess around with the original rf signal which is very fuzzy it's the lowest lowest possible output and that's what came in 1977 everybody's television just picked up you know rf signals mm -hmm. and they had the antennas and you had to hook up those two little u adapters do you remember those yep. yeah oh yeah uh, yeah i've played with a few of those yeah, yeah. <laughs> and uh so this is updated all the way okay. um and the other ways you could hook up the atari 2600s is if you modded it that's mm -hmm. the only way you could get a better output um so you had to either do that yourself or pay for it um so this is no messing around so you can just bring it to your friend's house and plug it into their tv and play Atari 2600 games. Yeah, and yeah. play Atari 2600 now, games. up until this point, 
um, other than modding the Atari, were, have there been any other systems that have kind of come out that offer a same option, you know, to play an Atari 2600 on a more modern setup? To my knowledge, there has not been any uh, commercially released okay. ones. There's been a lot of people who have made portable ones. I okay. think I showed you a picture of that portable one you plug it in the top it's all wood grain and it's like a like a handheld one okay and it has built-in screen amazing but it's like one-offs okay um there's been tons of nintendos like nes and soup uh, snes and genesis um everything in like the 8-bit mm. era um but not atari 2600 not in television not coleco you can correct me if i'm wrong in that's why this was such a big deal okay when they're announcing it's like oh finally something we can you know our our old systems will break down eventually they're 41 years old now mm -hmm. the original first ones um and they went up to 1991 or 92 the last one made by atari so they so people are like finally great we can have something that will replace ours or we can put those on a shelf and we'll use this one to play our game so we don't wreck it. Mm -hmm. um, but those are the goods. Okay. That's about it. For the, oh, it has an SD card yes. slot. Yes, yes, That's yes, really yes. good because mm -hmm. right now people have to use this, which is not... Uh, look away from the... There we go. Tracks on faces. Harmony yeah. card. Anyway. Yeah. You have to use the Harmony card, which has an SD slot, which is not super cheap okay. to buy. Um, and then load the SD, uh, load the ROMs onto that and put in the Atari. This one has a built in. Nice. So that's very exciting. Mm. Um, those are the big pros. Okay. Now the cons <laughs> is that it does not play every cartridge. It doesn't even play yeah. all the original cartridges. Uh, okay. There's a couple, uh, most specifically Pitfall 2. Mm. It doesn't play. Um, for some reason, I'm not sure why exactly it doesn't play Pitfall 2. Pitfall 2 does have an extra chip in it, but that doesn't make any sense why it doesn't, isn't able to dump the ROM from it. Hmm. Because what this essentially is, is it doesn't, it doesn't play the cartridges. It does not do that. Even though you put the cartridge in and it plays, it doesn't play the cartridge. What it does, you put the cartridge in, and it reads the cartridge and then puts it into storage, oh, temporary okay. storage on the system and plays it from memory. So if it has trouble dumping the cartridge, oh, I see. you can't play the you cartridge. You can't play it. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. And, and it doesn't play a lot of more advanced homebrew games. Um, like, like Draconian. It does not play Draconian, which is a very advanced homebrew game. Let's see if I can straighten it out and not get the... Oh, that's too much light. There we go. <laughs> Draconian. So it doesn't play this one. And I will put this in just to show you. Uh, Pitfall 2... Yes, a Pitfall 2 does play off the SD card. So it's not able to oh, dump say. it, but not, it's able to... It can't to... play the cartridge, but it can play the game off of the yeah. installed ROM on, and, the, on the card. And that's why I made the distinction okay. between dumping... The cartridge and okay. playing the cartridge gotcha. it's two separate things, two separate things. Okay. so if you've got the image file and yeah. you own the cartridge <laughs> and you're not a dirty stinky pirate um then uh <laughs> then that's fine um it will play the pitfall too gotcha. so um let's get to the opening up yes. of okay. it so i'm gonna get you on the camera okay. and kind of zoom in so on this i don't get to open it is what you're saying um <laughs> no so you know where the zoom is and you might need to loosen the handle and we're gonna kind of put it down on the couch a little bit there we go is that better yep and then zoom in actually that's pretty good we can leave it at that because then you can see my head Sorry, that's not a little not the best uh... maybe zoom out a bit here. okay so let's see where i can open this up I don't really care about this box. Actually, you can come back. It's fine there. You don't need me to adjust it, do you? No, no, no. All I right. just wanted it on the couch. You just need to bend down a little bit. Slouch. 
Yeah. Very good so at that. I don't, <laughs> I don't care about this box because it's just the UPS box. So, but I just do. Just don't break the box on the inside. Yeah. Yeah. We're not. Hopefully, they didn't break the box on the inside. Oh, that would be Look so at this. sad. This dent. <laughs> Massive Come dent. On, get on with it. Get on with it. It's terrible. Here. I don't see a easy opening. A lot of tape. It is a lot of tape. And this is why people don't do unboxings live. Usually, <laughs> <laughs> they do them all pre-recorded because it's crazy. And there's a lot of tape, a lot Ooh. of noises. Let's just rip into it. This, oh. this, this, this. Let me hold that for you. Okay. Yeah, you were worried about my unboxing the other day. Well, you grabbed a kitchen knife. I thought you were going <laughs> to stab yourself in the hand. So. <laughs> I could have, maybe. Rena Foot says, open! Yeah, yeah, exactly. Get on with it. <laughs> oh, and welcome to all the people, new people here, yes. a lot of new people. That's awesome. I think they might have been directed here from Hyperkin, yeah. who makes this, because they retweeted this episode that was going to come on tonight. Nice so thank you, Hyperkin. Yeah, that's, that's really and awesome. I apologize in advance for being critical of <laughs> your system, but Ooh. we got to be critical. Ooh. There we go. That looks... Not so smashed up. No, I don't see any. That uh, is good. I don't see any dents, so that can go away unless mm -hmm. there's something else in there. No, just your packing invoice. Warning to avoid danger of suffocation. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Do not let babies or cats play with plastic bags. So if you still had the plastic on an uh, uh, Atari 2600 from 1977, it's probably worth a bit more, but... You actually want to play your retro. Yeah, so. <laughs> I actually want to play it, so I don't yeah. care too much. But I, I'm going to keep it nice. Small, yes. Nice. I was looking at pictures of it, and it is small. So there's the box. It's just getting close here. It's a very nice box, and they went for this kind of cut corner aesthetic. I think that's on a lot of their other products as well. There's one of the sides. Oh, and of course I did it backwards because I'm looking at the picture backwards. Retron 77. It's got HD all over it, of course. They're, uh... yeah, very nice design. Um, I really, really like the design of this and also the Atari box, even though that looks like a complete utter waste of time and a failure. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> but this this is a very very nice design as well. There we go, Hyperkin. Nice. And I'll show you the back of it. A lot of writing, so you won't be able to read all that, but you can see the back of it there. Nice. It is. It is nice yeah. packaging. It's got the uh, Re uh retro the red, aesthetic. The red, orange, yellow. Uh, yeah, seventies kind of look. Striping. Yeah. And and the um. I've always debated with yeah, these the circular things whether to cut through them or to peel them back and because if you peel them back I usually just push them on anyway so I think I'm just going to cut through it yeah. this time. <laughs> so I you... prefer to cut because you peel it, peel it off and then it destroys the packaging and yeah so let's just do that on camera. There we go. Let's take a look. Let's there open it up it for everyone. Yeah. There we go. So let's see what's inside. So we have Ooh. the actual system and a joystick, which I've heard breaks. So what? we, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is the original joystick, the first version joystick um, that they're shipping out. Okay. So and, there are some issues. Oh, not some reported. Up. Yeah, some issues of breaking, like really easily breaking, like within the first day. Um, so we are, I'll, I'll play a little, play around with it, but I'm not going to plug it in because, oh, oh, it's, it's like a clicky. If you can hear that very clicky, which is nice. Cause the other one is like a mushy, like the original one you have to, it was quite mushy, quite mushy. And yeah, so this is That looks different. like it has more control and less travel too. Oh, zero travel. Yeah. Like absolutely really zero. Nice. So it's good. I like that. For, um, and games that you have to do really quick and two buttons exactly 
a mirror image left and right yeah for and left-handers as, as and right-handers as yeah. a left-handed person yeah that must make you happy <laughs> no i play games right-handed actually well i guess you've had to yeah well <laughs> Maybe that's why I play yeah. games right-handed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because this is the first joystick, not this one, but the original 2600 joystick was the first, other than arcades. Yeah. Um. Yeah. That I that I played with, and arcades are actually left-handed, which if if you yeah yeah the buttons are on the right. Yeah. So if you could hold that, mm -hmm. and we will take a look at the system. It's all wrapped in suffocating plastic, so beware. There we go, Retron 77. And it's got a unprotected uh, cart slot. Some of them, you know, I was, maybe they could have put something where it uh, flaps down. Flaps over, yeah. yeah. But uh, it is open, so prone to dust. I can see the pins right through there. There we go. Nice. But very nice aesthetic. I mean, it is plastic. It's not, I don't think it's actual wood. No, that's plasticky. Eh? No, it's not wood. Not at this oh, price no. point. <laughs> no, it is definitely a sticker, but it actually has a slightly matte feel to it. Yeah, very it's smooth. It's not shiny, it's smooth. And it's got the same aesthetic as the uh, Atari. original Atari down here, as you can see. Um, it's got all the controls. Um, oh, no, it doesn't have, does it? No, it's got one button on the back, but most of the controls that you need are on the front. I have to look away from the camera. There mm. we go. Player one, player two. So it's and it's, and some extra buttons: save and load, reset mode, um, uh, the skill level buttons, which is difficulty mm. A and B, and it doesn't push in. It's just a a button, so it switches. It doesn't, so it, it doesn't, doesn't click, click in. in. It doesn't. No. It doesn't give you any kind of tactile indication if it's in a no. and b no so you okay. can't actually physically tell whether you're on difficulty a or b hmm. don't like that <laughs> because <laughs> then you have to press it see what it switches to which i'm guessing it'll show on screen maybe it will then press it back if you were in the right mode you'll have to see how it plays so. yeah yeah so one other important button that you do use all the time is the color and black and white which is on the back um, some games use that for difficulty or come on focus there we go and it's got the SD card slot and the HDMI and power also a switch between uh, 4x3 and 16x9 so if you want to bastardize your game and stretch it out and make it look really weird on your modern television it does have a button for that <laughs> sounds like oh, it'd be fun to play with that yeah. See and how it how it obscure, how it affects the game. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. it does have a fry button. Um, for people who don't know what fry is, it's not something you eat <laughs> on a twenty six hundred. Um, it's it's more like frying something, like uh, electronics frying. Yeah. Um, what people used to do on the twenty six hundred is if you turn off and on the system like really quick. You could sometimes get it into um, kind of a state where things are a tiny bit scrambled and, okay. and not quite how they're supposed to be, how okay. they're intended. And you could do some weird things with the game, kind of glitching it, glitching but intentionally it glitching it. Okay. So that's kind of a neat addition that they put in is the, the fry button. That's very nice. And a very recessed SD card. Uh, let's see if I can. Oh my goodness! Let's see if I can get this out. I cannot. I cannot get this out. Uh, yeah. Be I'll careful. Have to use tweezers. Hey, hey! You're getting into other stuff no, already. No, no, hey. no! I'm just pulling it to the surface. Don't worry. And made in China. So get them now before the tariffs get in into the U.S. <laughs> um, because it is made in China. Item number M zero seven two eight zero Hyperkin. There we go. I have never actually fried any of the games. Actually, I'll just put this here for now so you can see the size comparison between the two systems. Quite a bit smaller. That's cutting it off a bit. Let me push it in. Push it forward. There you go. 
a little bit more. So you can see the size comparison. It is about, wow, the 2600 is about two and a half times wide. And, a, and the new one's about three quarters the the uh, kind of length. Maybe or, maybe a little bit more than three quarters, but yeah. yeah. And the height yeah. is about a half if you about a half if you take it all the way mm. like from the top most. So very compact system. And they've got a little instruction manual here in English, French, and Espanol. Excellent. Premium retro gaming console for twenty six hundred. There we go. Oh, everything's backwards. <sighs> Difficulty switches. That's makes Star Master useless. Yeah, they there's a lot of games that use them. Uh, I know the color in black and white is um, used on Anguna for getting to your maps. So modern game systems mm. and some of the older ones use those extensively for like extra buttons because okay. the joystick only has one functional button. Mm. So you want, if your game needs more things like item selection or getting into a menu of sorts, um, modern games have utilized those. So having, you need proper buttons. Oh yeah, also, as you can see, there's two inputs, uh, two joystick inputs, and those have said to be compatible with just about every common uh, input for the 2600. Hmm. And it's pretty basic manual. And as soon as we plug it in, we'll get into that. Okay. And we've got another box here, which I'm guessing is just... It's accessories. The, the so. accessories and mm -hmm. power. Attention, accessories. So I will actually need this for plugging it in and powering it. In case I don't have any extras, which I don't think I have lying around. But the same size as what in the old Atari? What? <laughs> Do they sell sticks separately in case you want a matching set? Not yet. No. Um, they said they will replace your joystick if it does break. But they're not selling a second, a player two? No. That's a shame. It is. Um, nice if that was an option. But they also don't sell paddles either. So how are you going to play paddle games? You have to actually buy a paddle. The old paddle set. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe they're like, eh, we include one. It's good enough for people who are going to generally play the Atari. And if you're going to get more into it, once you like the built-in games or you go and buy E.T. and not get turned off too quickly. Hmm. Um, so there's a power. comes with a power uh, plug. Very standard. USB, USB. powered. So, which is great for around the world now, because they can ship this anywhere. Mm. And I believe, does it have, I don't know if this is NTSC or PAL, but I'm, it's obviously it's NTSC, but I don't know if it just does both. I bet they do sell joysticks eventually. I bet they do as well as soon as they start replacing them, because people may want to just buy them. And a HDMI cable, very standard. And also a USB. Uh, micro USB. So the next step is to get this plugged in. Exciting. Is it? Yes. It is very exciting. It won't be too exciting while I do plug it in, but um, actually, would you be able to plug this in sure. and get this powered up while I read out sure. some information about this system? And and just get the HDMI ready as well, and then I'll hook it up to the right. right thing. And there's a power bar down there that should have some extra slots in it. At the bottom? Yeah, this underneath. No. Uh, no, do not hook it up to that one. Okay. That will not work. So, I'll give you some more information and background about... Oh, am I sinking down enough? Yep. About the Retron 77. Um... I was going back and forth on this system because of the downsides. Um, but as soon as I heard that the the SD card could play just about every game, then I was like, okay, this is a good system that I could take homebrew to other people's houses. And um, I was hoping... I uh, don't play it. Don't mess with that yet. The SD card. Unless you can get it out. It's very tiny. 
It should be spring loaded if you can get your nail in there and, and push it in just a bit. Yep. Is it? Okay, good. Leave it in there because we don't need it out yet. Okay. Um, but I, I went on the side of saying, yeah, I, I should get this. The homebrew is, is it, it'd be fun to just have something really small, really portable, easily plugged into an HDMI television and bring it to a friend's house to play. Um, and like I said, it's not available in Canada. It's only available in the US, nowhere else around the world. It's probably to ramp up production, see how things go, maybe. Um, and of course, you can find more information about it at hyperkin, hyperkin.com. They did not send this to me. I had to buy it myself, so I can be as critical as I want of it. And that's the best way to be. Um, it does... Now, what it is... It is not a hardware emulator. Now, what I mean by that, it is, it, what it is, if you've ever played an Atari game on your computer, you've probably run it through the software called Stella, which is the most mature um, piece of software for emulating Atari 2600 games. So they take the information, the ROM file that is on the cartridges, and they, dump it and then put it into a file and you can run it through this program Stella and yeah we want to put it right there and what this system does is actually it is just running Stella the actual program inside the box so it is essentially a tiny computer running an emulated program Stella inside it. it is not doing exact hardware emulation it is not running these games perfectly oh we don't want to use well we'll use that joystick very briefly yeah don't plug it in backwards be very careful it's a little tight going in um so what this system is running is stella 3.75 and for those in the know that is a very, very old Stella. <laughs> that is from December 22nd, 2012. So five and a half years old, this system is. Uh, the the software that's running on the system. Okay, is so now... Is it on the Framemeister? No, it does, uh, I'm gonna skip the Framemeister for okay. this because it's not really useful. Um, so find where the Framemeister goes and plug it into the input of that one. And be very, very careful. Maybe I should do it. Do you want me to do it? Yeah. It's easier it. for me. You know what's where. So here, you can read through a little bit of the manual. <laughs> that sounds this. exciting. <laughs> it is. <sighs> what would you like to know? <laughs> Uh, you've covered over the buttons already. Setting up the Retron 77, pretty much exactly what I just did. Um, I'm not going to go through that. Aspect ratio button, as you pointed out. Uh, while it's powered on, pressing the button will allow you to toggle between 4x3 and 16x9 aspect ratios. Uh, the mode button on the front, um, while the console is powered on, press the mode button to select the game variation. You can change the game variation at any, any time. And a uh, good thing to note, pressing the mode button after the game has started will cause the game's level and score to reset. <laughs> Although you probably would figure that out if you're changing your mode, so... Uh, game variation depends on the game. Reset button is located on the front. Okay. Go Color back. black and white button. That's pretty much it. <laughs> Not a very exciting manual to read. I didn't think it would be. No. I mean, it's going to be more interesting when they talk about the. I should have, I should have talked included. about the fry button a little bit more. Yeah. But anyway. So I think I've got it all hooked up. It's hooked up properly. And we're going to switch over to that now and you plugged in oh very long cable it is a very long cable that that is good that because, is really nice because people have the systems more on their television before well when, when the 2600 came out 
it was the power cable that was super long yeah. and the television cable that was super long. Yeah. But here's here's my question to you. Oh yeah, don't don't sit on um knives. No. Um <laughs> <laughs> sitting on knives is bad. Uh I'm assuming the older controller if you wanted to play with the older controller yes. it would be a lot shorter. Uh yes. So, so it is it a shame be. that you can't get a second one of that because the yes. length of that cord is really nice. Like it super is really long, long, like 10 feet probably. Yeah, yeah. maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Ten feet, maybe yeah. eight. Can eight it play PAL? Ten. That's a good question. And I could not. I had. To, I tried to have a quick look, but I, I nothing may be able to do that. I should have run it through my Frame Meister. You can uh, do that we'll, after. We'll play that later. We'll we'll try that out yeah. later. We'll play play some uh, PAL games, but it may it may not because it's running Stella, and if it's on a ROM, Stella can play PAL. Okay. But will it output through the HDMI, the PAL? Will it understand the number of lines? We'll see that. We'll see if how that happens. See if that happens. Okay, you ready? Okay. Let's switch it on for the first time. Exciting. And Ooh. pop. There we go. Ooh. So we have a home button. <laughs> Hyperkin, we're in a star field, very appropriate. Yeah, I like that. For 2600, there's yeah. a lot of space games. I'm glad this worked the first time out, actually. And now we have something down at the bottom that says license. Yes. That's exciting. And you're not going to see this. I'm just going to adjust this really quickly. Oh. There is an LED. Can I maybe flip it around that way? There is a nice LED glowing the hyperkin led yes sorry my face is right in the camera that's you fine can see in the yeah, bottom yeah on yeah the bottom. well that is very a nice kind of glowy glowy led you can put that down yeah, yeah there we go nice uh, touch though I yeah like that. it almost looks like those shiny stickers it's got a funny shiny glow to it almost yeah, it's a, like a blue it's like a blue led under there oh, okay it says license because Okay, those there your, we go. Those are your five games? Those are the... F well, f if you want to play license. Let's play license. This product uh, gotcha. uses freely <laughs> distributed software. Uh, uh, funny. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> for license terms and details, please visit... Uh, oh, only two W's. <laughs> www.hyperkin.com Okay, sorry. I'm right. uh, so excited. James is missing my helpful info. Oh no, it's gone. The info's gone. Uh, let me go back to that. Sorry. Uh, Stella developer. Oh, I already have that information. I, I supposed to actually, <laughs> I gathered that today. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, this, this is running. Let me go back to that. This is running version 3.75 on here. Uh, today, just today, like hours ago, somebody updated it to 3.93, which is the newest version of version 3 of this software. Okay. The newest version is version 5.13. Oh. So it's two generations behind. ahead. Yeah, two generations behind. Okay. Which is a lot, a lot. Like five and a half years behind. I, I, I guess my question is, why would you put an older version? Is it because the newer versions might be a bit more unstable? Uh, we will get to that. Okay. I, I have information <laughs> about that as well. Okay. Why they would do that. And it's yeah. not uh, a happy thing, unfortunately. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I, I don't know whether things will work out, but there's there's some promise in, okay. in the forums about that. Okay. Um, so this does come with four uh, homebrew games, cool. which was kind of nice that they gave a nod to the homebrew community mm -hmm. and included some of these games. And we had we actually uh, covered one of these games like two weeks ago. Okay. Uh, Nexion 3D. I'm a little disappointed in the eight character limit that they have. <laughs> oh, for the, the text at the bottom. Yeah, we're back in Windows 95 era now. Um, <laughs> You think it would be able to read out that? Uh, yeah, the console's already outdated. Yeah, already outdated. Version 4 uses more CPU and version 5 even more. Um, so we have Baby, um, Moocher. That's not supposed to be Moocher. What is it actually called? 
Where's Muncher? Muncher. Why did... Oh, my goodness. Two W's and missing an N so far. Missing a W and an N. Maybe it's like a clues. Some clues. Like you spell out a word with all the missing letters. All the missing letters. The W's so missing. So keep track of these. We've got an N <laughs> missing and a W. And a W. So what is it? You could spell win. And if you win a prize, you can like mm. win a second joystick. There we go. <laughs> that would be nice. And then there's another game called Astronomy. Even though it's Astron. Uh, That's close. It's close. That's that close one's enough. <laughs> close enough. Now it's close enough to Nexion. Yeah. It's just missing the 3D. So this one's not 3D. <laughs> That's um, so up and down goes to the bottom of the list. Up goes to the top of the list. Left and right. You hit a hard limit. It doesn't wrap around. Left all the way. It's interesting. The joystick's nice. I'm just really scared of breaking it. So so there's already it's been clicky. reports of it breaking? Oh, yeah. The two... The two people that got early previews of it, mm. um, they broke theirs, like, really quick. Mm. Um, so that's it. That is the whole the whole menu here. Okay. Um, okay, so let's read a little bit more about it before we jump into the games. Okay. Or you can play the first game. How about that? No, 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 no. I just no, want to get No, we can play the first it. game. No, no, keep talking. <laughs> and this... Oh, you know what? We're on widescreen. And we don't want to be on widescreen. Because none of the games are widescreen. Um, but that could be the output. It could... Well, yeah, that's true. How do you switch it? It probably switches once you play the game. I think that's what a lot oh. of this said. So, in-game, okay. it will switch it. In-game, not... Okay, not so, yeah, I apologize for the Hyperkin logo being cut off, but the menu's all there. It's, it's a little bit wider what, to what you're seeing. Rena Foot says start playing, so there okay. you go. Start playing. The first game is Muncher, so go to that one. Muncher? Or M Moocher. Moocher 77. Moocher 77. Ooh, it is. It's, it, no, it's Muncher. No, no, it's 16 by 9. Oh, it is. Okay, so I'm going to switch that. There we go. That's more like There it. we go. Everything's on the screen. All right, a game I've never played. Uh, neither have I. I haven't played this one. I haven't played three out of the four, so that's kind of good. So, let's get some sounds going. Is that working? Press a the button. There. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, ooh. Can't hear it. I do though. not know how, what, it, what am I doing? <laughs> Don't know yet. I have some stuff to read before we find out. Uh, maybe die and see if there's any sound. What are you controlling? The, the, the muncher? The, yeah, I'm no I'm I'm controlling I'm controlling the square. Run Why into am it I at, going uh, after him? Because I want to see if there's sound. No, I don't. I have to make sure that there's something. <laughs> see now that I, I'm trying I can't hit him. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. No Is there sound. no sound in this game? Or maybe we're no, that doesn't make any sense. Can you guys hear sound? Press press play again. I'm not seeing any no, sound. I'm just... Oh, I'm just going to play some of the other games. No worries. Uh, do you have to turn it off? to? to re you mean reset? Oh, there we go. So There's the left and right difficulty. Oh, it just presses buttons in uh, Stella. That's funny. Okay. I think in I Stella. Turn... So I see. Okay. It just emulates a um, button press. No sound. Yeah. So no sounds getting out to you guys either. We're going to play another game. Let's go over to, not that one. Next one. Uh, try baby. That's yeah. Let's see if there's sound. Press button. Okay. Move. No. Paused. What? Did you press reset? Oh. Oh. Okay, hit something. Or have something hit me? There's no sound? What is happening? Mm. Why is there no sound? Hmm. Hmm. That's not good. Um, what I'm going to do is plug in a cartridge. I'm going to go get a cartridge that has sound. Okay. Um, 
Let's try Crazy Balloon. We know this has ticky tick crazy scary sounds. Mm. And I know this has hot swapping, so... Oh yeah, you have to put it in backwards. That did feel a little... Yeah, there's definitely no music. There's no sound. Okay. Interesting. So... Was there music in the intro? Press a, press a button. Start going. Nope. No, no, nope. there was no music in the intro. Uh... I'll never stop. <laughs> Good. Okay. And it I... looks like it defaults to 16 by 9 every time. No, it's not stretched. Isn't it? No, it's fine. Oh, it looks like 16 by 9. It looks very stretched to me. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yep. You're right. Okay. I am going to... Play with the settings. It's going to cut out. Yeah, it's fine. Should the sound be coming out of... Everything. Everything? Okay. Yeah. The Retron itself? Uh, no. No. <laughs> no, no, I'm just saying. Uh, it should be coming out of the HDMI yeah, cable. Yeah, that's what I figured. It carries video and sound. Okay. Um, and that's why you don't do unboxings live. <laughs> 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 because you don't want to get things not working. Let's, I'm just going to delve into some settings here while you play. I'm not getting sound. We're not getting sound directly out from the HDMI cable. What I'm going to do is bypass the capture device right now. Okay. Okay. Um, which will disconnect you guys, but I just want to see if there's any sound coming out of this at all. Okay. Um, because it might be the capture device not passing it right now because okay. it's used to the 2600. So bear with me. It's going to go away. I'll just go to full screen for now. You'll hear the sound though through the mic here if it, if yeah. it is playing. There's all the connectors. There they are. We'll do it live. That's what you got to do. So we're going to switch to the other HDMI input on the television that I plugged it directly into now. Okay. It's the capture device. That is good because <laughs> it's not broken. I don't know if you guys can hear that. I wonder how many top execs are watching from Hyperkin. Possibly one. They did uh, They did comment on my Instagram. That's nice. And they did retweet. Yeah, so we have sound. So the Hyperkin is fine. Or the <laughs> Retron 77 is fine. Uh, yeah, make our own sounds. So now I'm going to plug it back into the capture device and then make sure that I can get some sound out of that. But I have some tricks that I can try. Oh, there goes my game. Yep, you're dead. <laughs> Your balloon has popped. Aww. Yeah, I'm sorry. Let's get wrapped around the cable. There we go. Well, there's a lot of activity you can't see going on right now. <laughs> well, they can see a bit of it. A tiny bit. <laughs> they've got the webcam. That's okay. They're going to try to rewire it a slightly different way. Yeah. Okay. So, let's go back. Any sound? Oh, I have to switch this back to the right input on the TV. Still no sound. That's fine though. Okay. 
Now, this may cut out, so just be aware of that. sound yet. Well, I think I was playing this game much better when I was drinking wine. <laughs> That's, oh, and gone. Yep, it will cut That's out. Okay. That's okay. That's <laughs> okay. Oh, no sound. I like the controller. Yeah. Yeah. Be very gentle with it. Be very gentle. Well, I'm, I'm not going to smash it across the room or anything. I'm, <laughs> I'm just using it like a controller. I'm not being too aggressive. I'm sure I just killed the balloon there. Um, <laughs> no, I, I, I like it. As you say, it's not too mushy. And, and it doesn't have a ton of travel when you're kind of hitting back and forth. So you seem to have a fair amount of control. That's good. I mean, I didn't play a lot on the original Atari 2600 back in the day. So yeah, you probably have a better perspective on the feel um well here here's the actual original one nice you can you're gonna plug it in no not two? plug it in but um you can play with it and see how it feels yeah it's Comparison. mushy <laughs> mushy mushy it's right mushy 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 Okay, I'm going to have to go to extremes now. This may cut out us and the game. So That just, is extreme. Just be warned. It's almost a guarantee. We still will be streaming, most likely. So be gentle. Don't run away from the FBI and the scientists and ET too drastically. You might, might hear a crack. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's right. I, and it actually has an interesting, um, almost like a soft plastic feel to it. Yeah? Yeah. Uh, like a matte sort of feel to the plastic. Yeah. I don't know if, are you actually, sh is it actually still on the screen? Uh, are we still on the screen? You may get I don't know if you can there. see it. So, the old versus the new. Um, there's a shininess to the plastic on, on the old controller. The new controller has kind of a matte finish to it, which actually makes it feel quite nice in your hand because <laughs> it, it, um, it's, it's almost a little bit more grippy. anticipate audio issues that's super weird super weird okay that didn't do anything yet Come on, sound, come on. Be nice. <laughs> You're killing me. <laughs> it's funny, uh Plan? <laughs> Maybe I'll go back to the, go back to baby. You can 
At least play that. Well, I've never played that game. <laughs> yep. And as Arena Foot pointed out, avoid the avoid the bullets or avoid the the pellets. In uh, uh, baby. Have you played Baby before? I've n no, I have not. I have heard of it maybe, but I've not played it. Yeah, these you... weird. Yeah, the buttons are really weird. It's like avoid getting shot. Is that pretty much? Oh, what's happening in the game? What's going on? In the game? Yeah. I'm a tiny little sausage dog by the looks of things, and I'm avoiding bullets. And there are people shooting from both sides of the screen. Oh, I'm very confused. I thought this is what I was supposed to do. Kill these guys? Ooh. Oh, got me. I feel like I should be narrating with music somehow, like <laughs> <laughs> which would not be a good time. But oh. The color scheme. <laughs> Is it it's not showing quiet. up on the screen? Or <laughs> yeah, I know, but uh, it's just too quiet. Oh, uh, I'm a I dog. To... I'm running from projectiles. There seems to be something on the ground. Oh, and if you hit the guy at the other end, he disintegrates. And I'm not sure if that's a good thing or a bad thing, but my score does seem to be going up, so that can't be <gasps> a terrible thing. Yeah. Hmm. And it's gone. And the dog's been shot. Play Dark Side of the Moon. Yeah. <laughs> See if it syncs up. Oh, that would be funny. Oh, what the hell? Reset the 16 by 9. Yeah, it, it's, it, it no, starts sorry. in 16 by 9. That's really weird. Yeah, it, every time you reset it, it's basically... Oh, terrible at this game. It's basically in 16 by 9. See, this is a bad game to play because every time... Because the projectiles aim straight for you. Every time it cuts out, I immediately die. <laughs> oh, really? Oh, they aim straight for you? Well, they head straight for you, so uh... you have to move around and dodge them. So if you're any if you're in any one space for too long, you're pretty much guaranteed to get shot. So yeah, it's not the greatest game to play. Ooh, ah. ah, what was that? Flashed up yellow and oh, red. Sorry, anybody can't see it right now. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to get any kind of sound out of it. Captured. I don't know why it's not capturing the sound. Drive me crazy. I'm gonna turn it off and turn it back on. You can, uh, if it's really, really bad, you could use the webcam to show the screen. Uh, it's not the, it's just the audio. No, oh, you mean? Use that webcam and direct it towards the screen oh, and play the audio. Terrible. I know, I know, I know. That's terrible. I know, I know that that's like. You know what? I'm going to, to run it through the. Braymeister. Okay. That might solve some issues. Because maybe the Framemeister can handle it better. Whatever it's outputting. I don't know why I didn't think of that earlier. Okay. I just posted saying it is HDMI 5.5 out so advanced your current gear can't handle it. <laughs> that that might even be true. I, I oh I doubt it has the newest HDMI out. Okay, so we're now through the Frame Meister, and it looks good. Now let me switch the inputs because it's no longer on my RGB. It is now through HDMI. One. 
I'm all hot and sweaty now. <laughs> it is warm in here. Is the window oh. open? Oh, it's not for a second. Oh, HDMI 2. It is open. I'm going to turn on the fan. Noise be damned. White noise be damned. <laughs> <laughs> out for a second there we go okay oh press the button to start excellent no sound though unless they can hear sound uh no i don't see any sound coming through uh, what weird that is weird how can it how is that possible the tv hears the sound but the frame if i connect it the... directly up to the television sound is fine I connect it up to the Frame Meister or to the capture card. There's no sound. Um, the Frame Meister is what everything's normally going through. Oh. Okay. Press the button. <gasps> okay. But I, that's coming through, is it going through there? Yeah, everything's fine. What was it? I don't know. I mean, it's the other thing I don't know. Frame Meister was just had mute on. Okay, let's turn that down. We're in business! <laughs> and it's Woot. only an hour in. Yay! Okay, <laughs> let's get to baby. Actually, I'm going to talk. I've played a lot of baby. <laughs> okay. Uh, but she doesn't poorly. look like you're getting very no, far. No, I'm not getting very far. So I'm going to talk about yeah, baby yeah, so, you can, so you can figure it I out. I can actually figure out what, I, what my target, my goal is here. Well, I sort of figured out my goal. A very buzzy sound. Yes, it's a Christmas miracle, Woo! Lord Monkus says. <laughs> yes. Wow, Thankfully, I, I know my equipment okay, so... We have moved out of the oh. silent era of gaming and into... Okay, so we will do... 20th century. We will do baby first. So let's switch over to the baby graphic. I'm terrible at this game. <laughs> I, I do like the colors, though. I like the very contrasty colors. Yeah. Baby made by... Made in BB. There we go. Made in BB. Oh, uh, Batari Basic. Yeah. Ah. It has a Batari Basic look. I don't know what the look is. It's just... Chunky words on the screen always gives me that look. Okay, this is made by Robert Holmes, a.k.a. Robsum in the Atari Age forums. Mm -hmm. uh, first posted about in 2017, so a fairly recent game. October 2017. Very recent, actually. In the not-so-distant future, aliens attack a game development studio, and now there's a war between the game devs and the aliens. The, the gunfighting leaves the two sides in a constant stalemate. You play as Baby, the studio's dog. Aww. Oh, Baby. Oh, you got him. Yeah. Turn him to poo. Stanky poo. Uh, you only have the... Uh, you only have the... You have the only ability that gives the humans the edge. Baby's cuteness. Aww. These aliens are completely averse to extreme levels of cuteness. Oh, so they're, the cuteness defeats them. Uh. Unlike, you know, the common cold... <laughs> Or water, or high pitched loud sounds, or music. High pitched loud sounds. <laughs> <laughs> Gameplay avoid bullets from both sides. I guess the humans. <laughs> the are humans shooting. are shooting. So the human's shooting at the left end. So. And yeah. you travel towards the right end. Oh. And on the right end, the alien's shooting at you. But, okay. uh, no, it's. it's, it's avoid, the th avoid the thing in the middle screen. It calls it a thing. Uh, touch the human to thing? get... Yeah, just a thing. Avoid the thing. I don't know what it is. Touch the human to get pet. This oh, gives you bonus points. I didn't know that. You move th with the joystick. Obviously. Holding the fire button or switching your system difficulty 1 to B will pause the game. So don't press oh. the fire button. Don't? Or don't hold it. All it does is pause it. it well, it, it starts up the next level. Releasing the fire button or switching back to difficulty A will unpause the game. Hitting the select switch will randomize the colors. Hitting the black and white will make the game black and white. Switching to color will not change back from black and white. You're stuck in there forever. Gotcha. That's very strange. 
Um, I swear I put, I put something that that's like a coat hanger. What? No, you r don't run into no, that. No, no, I know that. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like a coat hanger. So how do you score points? It looks like you're just scoring points, like, all the time. Uh, Every I... bullet you get a point. That's C, and then, then he shoots A. <laughs> So I don't see any pets. Do I get more pets? Yeah, you get no pettings. Pets? No. I don't, I don't know. I think that's just a funny thing in the manual. I don't know. Is this the game? Yeah. I have not seen anything other than you hit the alien. Oh, you get a hundred points for dissolves, the alien. The color of the screen changes, and it appears to be fairly random. Avoid a bullet, get one point. Okay, you only have uh, one life. Baby is a dollar download on Robert's website. Nice. If the frame meister is adding lag, there's an HDMI direct option that passes in and out. It should be... Everything should be synced up because the frame meister is in the right loop. Okay, I'm going to test this out. Is the sound... Okay, don't, don't press anything. Okay. Okay, go up. Just, like, you narrate up down, left, right, or something like that, right, so we can check right, the leg. Right, left, right, down, up. Baby. <laughs> <laughs> is that is that on time? Hopefully. It should be, because we're running through the same equipment. Right, left, right, up, down, up, right, and Baby. dead. Is that all good? Give us a thumbs up. My turn okay. to play. Yeah. The extravaganza that is baby. I like the colors. Yes, on time. Excellent. There's a part of me that wants a t-shirt with baby <laughs> written in green fluorescent pink fluorescent letters with the green background and like the alien or the coat hanger. What? No, Killed because me. it shoots. It shoots directly at you. You have to constantly uh constantly move. move. Yeah. It's actually better. See? Oh my god. See? It's not easy. So you have to move off oh. and you hit the coat hanger. See, it's not as easy as it looks. <laughs> All is good. All is good is the feedback we're getting from out there. Okay, excellent. Nice. Okay. So the <laughs> tactics are wait till you're kind of close to the screen, but then go because he's going to shoot exactly where you are. What you want is the bullet that he's shooting to still be on the screen. Yeah. Because if it's still on the screen, then it's not going to it's not going to hit you. So start about halfway, wait till he shoots, then yeah, go. Yeah, then go. And don't do that. And don't do that. And so do that every screen. Yeah. So but yeah, you wait, get you move, get one life. Go. You get one life wait, and uh, move, go. Wait, move, kill. That's it. It doesn't get any faster, does it? Yeah, but the colors wait. change. <laughs> wait and go. Uh, wait I like the dogs and so go. Much. Oh, and see, you're already just kicking the Wait that butt. and go. Wait. Yeah. Doesn't seem to get any harder. I'm done. <laughs> no, you, that's it. Don't like, you... that's the game. It doesn't get any faster. It, it doesn't get any... It just changes... Yeah, I see. Now Now, now that you have the wait and go uh, uh, approach... Wait and go. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, wait and go. And avoid that... And avoid that... That <laughs> deadly coat hanger. I love the coat hanger. <laughs> I think it might have been originally an actual baby, but I'm not sure. Okay, does it talk about the homebrew? It does. Ugh. In French. Let's see if I can Français? find... Say English. Are you going to give the English and the French and the uh, Spanish? Spanish? No, I haven't found any French or Spanish speakers speaking yet <laughs> in there. Yeah, homebrew. we can't speak Spanish really, so... <laughs> no, I do have a friend who can, but yeah. she is not here. Homebrew games. Homebrew support on the Retron 77 is for the sole purpose of game testing and development. So, if you're loading homebrew, beware. It's only for testing and development. Hyperkin does not endorse any homebrew projects, games, <laughs> what? or files being tested or developed on the Retron 77. What? Be totally warned of that. They totally discourage it. They will not endorse it, other than the four they included, because obviously they like these ones. That is funny. During gameplay, press the save button will save the game. Pressing the load button results in the game being loaded from the initial save frame. So if you're doing pretty well in a game and you're going into a hard part, you can press save. Nice. We'll do that in another game. This one's a little bit crazy for that. 
Uh, if you want to create a new save game, press the save button once more to overwrite the previous one. So just, just one save store. Powering off the console will not cause the retrons to s delete the save file. That's kind of interesting. So mm. it actually writes something onto the SD, onto the card. SD card. Nice. It stores the whole everything in memory. So that's that's interesting. Yeah, that is kind of weird, Ground Trooper. Um, that <laughs> they don't like that sentence. I got to read that again. Homebrew support on the Retron 77 is for the sole purpose of game testing and development. Hyperkin Inc. does not endorse any homebrew projects, games, or f yeah, that says files or files being tested or developed on the Retron 77. I don't understand the hate. <laughs> <laughs> like, like what is what is? I don't know. Why is it just? Why are they singling out homebrew <laughs> in that way? <laughs> weird, 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 nice. weird. Okay. I think we're good with baby. I think we're good. We've with exhausted baby. everything. Get the reset. Uh, no. I don't know how to actually restart the whole system. What's that button? Mode. Mode? Wow, it's going crazy. Oh, it allows you to change the color. Is there is there anything different? No. No. Okay, so let's fry it. Fry. I did fry it. Ah, the smell of plastic. <laughs> Burning plastic. Okay, off and on. Okay, now we will actually play. You have to turn it off and on again. Yeah. Just, <laughs> just like a real 2600. Yeah. So let's go to the, f the actual first game that I did have scheduled. Which is Muncher. By Rick Scrabina, also known as Wiki Columbus on the Atari Age forums. This was released, oh, that's annoying. So it'll save games, but it won't remember that you like playing in four by three, which is a little annoying, as you can imagine. So originally this was released in 2012, and then I believe released on cartridge in 2016. You're an astronaut who has crashed on an alien planet. You must, this doesn't have any sound. Oh, no, it doesn't. Or did we, like, kill the sound by resetting? Maybe. What was the, uh... uh... Luckily, I know exactly what it was. Okay. There we go. That's Apparently, great. my Frame Meister does not like to keep the sound on. That's unusual. Yeah, they misspelled it. It's funny. The sole bur purpose of testing. Gaming. Wink, wink. Arena Foot says... Before the stream started, what game box was pictured? What? Before the stream? This. Game box? This game box. The Retron 77. Oh, Quantum Tunnel. Yes, Quantum Tunnel. We will be playing Quantum Tunnel at the end of the show. And we'll be loading stuff on to the SD card. Ah, oh, gotcha. Uh, you must journey across the planet's surface and collect and eat all the food that was scattered around during the crash. Oh, I gotta change it. Arena foot, you have to remind me to change it. There we go, muncher. Oh, oh Restful Cargo got one, and he liked it very much. Unfortunately, the joystick broke. Oh, there's oh. another joystick breaking. So make sure you tell uh, Hyperkin about that, and they will send you a free joystick. Or you have to send back your broken joystick. Uh, there are native aliens who chase and try to eat you as you do your best to survive. There are nine levels where the aliens behave differently. Ah. The original release had a red manual label and the second release was purple. The pack rat release is green, so you can buy this game. And I believe you can buy Baby, too, at pack rat. I think comes with a cartridge and full manual. Um, so game one... Enemies bouncing off the walls. Mm -hmm. Game two, a smart enemy. Smart. Game three, two enemies bouncing off the walls. Game four, one smart enemy, one bouncing off the walls. So there's different uh, settings. So. Oh. I'm going to reset it. That's fine. Press the button. 
Yeah, the difficulty? Oh, I see. You try One the second. mode, too. The mode might um, yeah, cycle mode. through levels. Uh, nope. Nope. Mode does nothing. Okay. Sorry. Change it to pink. <laughs> very briefly. Uh, so wave one is say oh okay no no you don't select them they are just the levels uh he changed those wave one is uh one enemy mounts off the wall wave two is a wide enemy wave three is a smart enemy wave four is two normal enemies so you have to eat all of them every single yeah it's it's, it's like a if, open world pac-man it feels <laughs> it feels a bit etch-a-sketchy you know like you're <laughs> you know Clearing like you're, you're you have to etch-a-sketch uh the whole screen you know yeah. like, uh, i thought funny. rick said that muncher 77 had a title screen where muncher does not have a title screen did this have a title screen yeah, yeah. they did okay yeah it did. so this is muncher 77 so he made a special version for, for re the Retron, Retron 77. Nice. Right. And that's why it's named Moocher 77. <laughs> oh, you're almost dead. You almost got it. One port. Oh, and it just... Oh, this one's full. Is that how the other oh one started too? It's bigger. So this is wave two. And he's wider? He didn't look like he got wider. <laughs> he went right for it. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to... I'm going to talk a little bit about the Retron oh, 77. Terrible. Um, so like I said, this is running a really old version of Stella from uh, 2012. I was going to say 19 something. <laughs> I love how you, you, you love adding in the hyperbole there. Really it is. old. Like, it's, re it's 2012. It's really old. Um, Flojo Mojo said uh, today. All these are today, actually. Um, this is from the Atari Age forums. Flash carts... This guy is not a big proponent of this system. Flash carts running on running ROMs on real hardware oh. makes as, makes a bunch of sense to me. It's about as close as you can get to the old experience. Now he's talking about um, something like this, the Harmony cart. You think that's a good good solution? Um, emulators, this dumping physical cartridges is goofy. Why go through the Rube Goldberg exercises if you're just running a ROM in an emulator anyway? So he thinks the cartridges are just kind of a waste of time. And why not just run the ROMs directly on the machine? Well, if they only had the SD cards, they would probably have a lot more trouble releasing the system because there would be no legit way, except for homebrews, um, to play the games on the system you would have to play all the roms released in the atari age forums which there's tons they would keep you busy forever um restful cargo says he, he wrote an email today but i've yet to receive a reply we'll call him up in a few days they're probably pretty busy today a lot of stuff went out um uh, kita posted today hyper now he's saying why Hyperkin chose in this in this statement why Hyperkin chose to do what they did and make it the way they did. Um, Hyperkin couldn't write their own emulator. Writing emulators is difficult, making them accurate even more so. And you really need good regression testing and even crowd testing. And that takes time, years even. So it is it does make sense that they would go with a try and tried and true tested um emulator like stella which makes sense because it's it's super stable it's been tested to death um but why did they go with such an old version of stella like really ancient ancient when it's totally available and as long as they license it correctly which they did on here they licensed it uh, open source and they give you the source you can download the source right off their website uh two Hyperkin couldn't design a good FPGA simulation, much for the same reasons as above. So yeah, an FPGA version of Atari 2600? Do you want a different joystick now? We've... <laughs> oh, I'd, I'd have to kill your game. No, 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 no. We'll, okay. plug, we'll plug in the... I'm pushing better. too hard. I hope I'm not. I'm not... Yeah, do not break the Gen 1 joystick. Do not. Look at this guy. He's got a big Because there head. won't be any Gen 1s left. They'll all be broken. They'll be super rare. <laughs> collector's item unbroken gen one you probably can't tell the difference 
Um, yeah, FPGA would be the ultimate. A perfect cartridge reader plus an FPGA solution. Oh, that'd be so sweet. But he said that would take uh, much for the same reasons above. Take a lot of testing. Uh, and he says years. So that would be not a good solution for them. Uh, Hyperkin couldn't, number three, design, fabricate original new replacement chips. This would be costly, especially for a niche product. Yeah, this is not going to sell the millions or a hundred, maybe not millions, hundreds of thousands of the uh, NES Classic. Mm. It's not going to reach anywhere near those oh, levels. Yeah. So they have to keep the budget, you know, within a reasonable amount and sell it for a reasonable amount that people will buy it. Like myself and a bunch of other people <sighs> watching have already bought it mm. or have it on order. So they have to keep it, keep the cost low. And again, you need a talented pool capable of doing it. Yes. And then uh, Kita goes on to say, personally, I'd rather see a low cost CPLD. Not sure what CPLD means. Uh, implementation of the TIA coupled with the new old stock 6507 and Riot chips. Those are the original chips in the, in the uh, 2600. And that and the original discrete components like resistors, transistors, and capacitors. That would be a nice modern day VCS replacement. Transistors and res resistors are pennies each. Theoretically, everything would work if the cartridge ports and controller connectors were set up to behave exactly like the original. And this is, yeah, we'll switch it out now. With the good stuff, time to plug in. Oh my goodness, what was that noise? Time to plug in the Genesis <laughs> arcade stick and put this into retirement. <laughs> It's Goodbye. fun. You should play it. You haven't played it yet. I I clicked it. I know what that's all about. <laughs> I'm fine with that. Uh, without playing that joystick. I don't want to break it. Restful cargo. Uh, oh, that slides in. I've, re I've changed joysticks on the fly if that's what you, you're asking. Oh, have you? Can you hit save? Oh, sorry. Save and then swap joysticks. Yes, you can. Yeah. Smart. You can hit but save. You, but you already um, no, I was did dead. your game. Yeah. yeah. That's fine. Ah, so, very good. Uh, there's probably a, a permanent way to do that, but for now, I'm yeah. not going to waste any more of your time by trying to figure out how to keep the mute off. So let's go back to that one because I do want to play it just for a little bit. What'd you do? Nothing. Broken. It's fried. Sorry, guys. Stream over. No, just kidding. Let's reset it. Oh, All oh, 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 oh. All oh. the mega fire Hold buttons were on. Hold what? Hold down that. Why? Um. Because of the way this interacts with the system. Uh oh. Oh god. Okay. Hopefully, I did not fry it. I have heard issues with plugging these kinds of joysticks into Commodore 64. Uh, let's put turn it on without the joystick. Because this may not work, the Genesis. And fried. And fried. What is happening? <laughs> uh oh. Is it dead? Oh, oh, no. Oh, oh there oh. we go. <sighs> Maybe we just didn't wait long Whew. enough. Did you just press the button? Nope. No. Nope, you're messing what it up. What is happening? Is it the game? Uh, it doesn't like this joystick. Yeah. We're no. going to use something else. Genesis We're... controller? No, would it? That no, would be the exact, exact same, same thing. We're gonna use oh, you Apex. like that one? Yeah. It's noisy, but it's good. We're gonna use an Apex uh, 500 XJ um, until we figure out. Yeah, crisis averted. It's not fried. It just hates the joystick. <laughs> it does act differently. Yeah. Those um those joysticks. So. I'm not a big fan of this joystick. But that's no. Okay. I might go back to the. Uh... Really? Yeah. Oh, what was that noise? Nothing. That was not a good noise. Yeah, probably can't detect. There we go. Oh. Okay, press the button. Get out of that. Okay, so. You want to play? Uh. Nope. Gonna read a little bit more. Okay. Um. Theoretically, everything would work if the cartridge ports... Oh my god, and I have to do the... 
And I have to do the sound. You know what? Okay. Uh, it cut off the edge of the... Um... That's interesting. Oof, <laughs> Dead immediately. Hey, stop. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's that's a mystery why the cartridge... Why it does not read all the, all the things. Anyway. Um, and Stefan A. posted today, Stella can actually go to 3.93 and still use SDL1. I have no idea why they stopped at 3.75. If you're restricted to an old version, at least go to the newest old version. So like I said earlier, um, this is 3.75. And that was not the end of the threes. The end of the threes was 3.93. And Stephen A. actually today loaded on a new a different build of Stella onto the machine and it works perfectly and actually runs where was it Kool-Aid Man which previously does not work on this oh so uh, they were able to get it upgraded so the hacking has already begun excellent on the Retron 77 <laughs> not doing so good this time no, um okay. So they've got it to 3.93, but as far as I know, let's let's read this. Um, SDL2 um, has preliminary support for all winners, specifically Mali 400 GPU, but it is in a fork, not in the main SDL code base. So I'm guessing this is an all winner chip that they use in this, and that's why uh, they mentioned it. Um, because I was reading through the iterations of Stella, and Stella 4 switches over to SDL2. I have no idea what SDL2 or 1 is, but it is a way to talk to um, hardware. And I believe it uses uh, different types of hardware accelerators for the graphics. Let me know if I'm wrong, or if you know more about that. Simple display layer display. Like the... Uh, pin number <laughs> just joking just giving you a hard time um, simple display layer so um, that's probably why they stopped at 3. Point, uh, version 3 because version 4 uses a different way to interface with the hardware depending on what kind of chip they are using for this system mm -hmm. Um, so hopefully somebody is able to, and it looks like they are already started, um, working to make at least Stella 4 or just skipping right to Stella 5 to work with the hardware without making a fork so that there's two different versions, one for Retron 77 and one for the rest of us, uh, one for uh, computers. Okay. My turn? Yeah, just Did you die? No, nope. you can on you this? can you can uh commit. Yes Suicide. I did. Yeah. Oh you did die on this. Okay. I did, yeah. You might as well. Oh, get here. Sometimes dying when you want to. It's very difficult, yeah. Oh, there's some lag. I noticed that guy's face. Yeah, and you know the lag is from this. No, no, I mean oh, like in the screen. Display lag. Yeah. That. Going through the Frame Meister, or is it just... It's hard to say. I, I don't want to blame anything right now, because I'm not going directly pure. You can see his face when there's yeah. a bit of screen tearing. But I... I it I, is an emulator. I, uh... I didn't notice you... that before, so no? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know if you guys noticed a little bit of screen tearing on his, um, on his face. The screen mask that's jumping around? Yeah. Yeah. So it's just like... There was a game that was put out, I think, primarily in Europe about mowing the lawn yeah, yeah i don't know if you ever played that game no, lawnmower that's, that's, it's like something like that is it and like that's this? what you do yeah you mow the lawn yeah, and nice. it's very similar to this except there's like dogs chasing you did i get a free man no no <laughs> i wish <laughs> ah i thought it would have made it oh see <laughs> he's uh it also reminds me of the episode of the office where they're watching the DVD logo bounce around the screen <laughs> and they're waiting for it to it hit the exact little, corner. It is. And it never hits the corner. And they go, oh. Oh my God, I forgot about that. And they're that like, is exactly what it's doing. Yeah. 
the DVD logo. Oh my god. And and Michael thinks that they're reacting to his speech that he's oh, saying up front. Oh, that's right. And that's he's like right. so happy about oh. certain parts of his speech because they're all going, oh. oh. <laughs> and it finally hits and they go, yeah. And they're all clapping and they leave the room. And he's like, oh, okay, good, okay. <sighs> I love that office. Yeah, I have it downloaded. It's oh, it's so good. So another really basic game, really, really simple Hmm. not a lot of you know going on maybe on higher levels let's i'm gonna play it out well you want to see if you can get to the more complex um bad guys yes um, before i haven't I really gotten past much. this second level that dvd bounce <laughs> that dvd bounce exactly. it is it's like the dvd <laughs> bouncing logo <laughs> Mixed with uh, a, an etch a, etch a sketch game. Yes. It's like, because uh, you can, uh, the movements are very left, right, up, down, right? It's very, very square like. So. Mr. Fix says he remembers that uh, mowing game. It was fun mm. because there was also um, flowers that you, oh, okay. sh that you couldn't mow. So you had to avoid the flowers but get the grass kind yeah. of thing? Yeah, and you had time limits, and you had to get so some gas if you run out. You have to go over and get some gas. Oh, nice. It, was, it had a lot of stuff going oh, on. Oh, you got it. the big head. I did get to the big head. You did? Oh, we got a free life, too. Did you? Yep. Mm -hmm. So this guy's a little bit wider, a little bit harder to avoid. I think he's moving around the same speed. Same speed, same bounce, but just a little bit wider. He plays straight lines while sh she did areas. <laughs> Yep, everybody plays games a little bit differently. Yeah. Because why not do lines? It's the f it's the longest um, doing it in a row. Like, just go straight. Yeah. Ah, ooh, I thought I was dead there. Very close. Uh, uh yeah, I do like Hover the... Bover. Yes, Hover that's Bover. it. It's a British game. Bother. Bother? B bother? Bother, like bothering. Yeah, maybe. But, no, it is. No, no, I mean, <laughs> ah, I can ah. see, I can see that. I can see that. Oh, uh, no. <laughs> no, I have to make it past this guy. Sounds like it was raining out. It was. Oh. Yeah, it was pouring. Oh, it just automatically switches over. So it's like kind of two levels each I time. I swear he looks angrier too. I can't believe <laughs> it. He does. He's moving a little faster maybe? I don't know. Uh, Maybe. I say move over till you get past him and then just go straight down. Yeah. Well, sometimes he, he does bounce a little bit erratically, but he's pretty mm. consistent in how he moves. I, I want to at least get to the smart... The um, smart alien? The smart alien where Who he kind of goes must, for must, you. Must chase you down, yeah. Chase you a little bit. Maybe instead of bouncing, he'll just like move over a little bit, but then bypasses you if he can't quite get you. What do you think of this joystick? Don't I, like I it? don't like that joystick. It's a bit you know what it is? floaty. Like um, it turns. Oh, this is supposed to be the smart alien. Oh, he's the same. I thought it would look different. Oh. Oh. Oh, oh he's so, going after so you. So I'm faster, but he's smarter. It's going to so be hard to do the center of the screen. Nah, I just lead him on a goose chase. Is he easier? He looks like he's almost easier. Easier, yes. So now I have to, have to lead him away. Come on, over oh, here. You can go right to the edge of the screen. We aren't in wide, are we? Are no, we? no. We're okay. I don't think so. No. You can see the the black lines on our broadcast. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, come on over here. Come on. Come on. He's, Am I running out of time? Seems, he seems easier. Um, easier but annoying. Yeah, I think I finished it faster. I think you did. Yeah, you're losing points as time passes. Well, don't have... You have to. <laughs> what is the bar on the bottom? That blue bar, is that my time? Because I know it's not lives, because those are the uh, dots. I don't know. Ugh, keep missing turns. Face from Demons to Diamonds, Restful Cargo says. Demons to Diamonds. Don't I haven't know. played that game much, so. Ugh. 
Intellivision just came out with Hover Bobber. I swear that was the original name of the game. I do want that game, actually, for Intellivision. I found that cartridge prices for Intellivision and Coleco Homebrew are more expensive than 2600 I don't know if anybody else noticed that. Is that because they're harder to make, those cartridges, or less people buy them than the 2600 Homebrew? Or people just want to charge more for them? It's one of those, or something I can't think of. Oh, no, now there's two. So how many people in the in the chat, oh god, <laughs> um, have either... Yeah, this is going to be challenging. Oh, how many people have put an order in for the Retron 77? And how many people... Or have you put in an order? Or are you going to put in an order? Or are you not going to buy the Retron 77? Let me know. If you could... Oh, they kind of bounce differently. Or maybe they hit the corner and that's they, why they, they are look. They look, They're completely symmetric. Right, okay. In how they bounce. Ah. But... It's just more things to watch out for. Yeah. They move pretty quick. Ah. Intellivision is hard to make. Don't know about ColecoVision. Okay, so that makes sense why it would cost more. Intellivision and ColecoVisions are more expensive. Mm. Yeah, they're like 10 to $15, I think, mm. on average. More expensive. Interesting. I think we I'm good. went through this I'm good. one. Yeah. It's not, it is fun. It's not bad. It's very simple. It's, it does get a little better as then, time goes on. But it's just, I think it's too much to, to, to eat up. It feels a little um, a little grindy when you're when yeah. you're trying to get every single little pixel on the screen. Yeah. I'm good. No, no, no. We're going to go to oh, the next okay. one. Oh, okay. Next one. Oh. It's all right. There's no way to do it except for yes. turning it off and turning it on. And that is that little uh, silver stick in the front, right? That's the on-off? Uh, yes. Which is very similar to the original. Mm. So they kept yeah, that Yeah, like kinda... the, the switches. Yeah. Yep. I wish they had kept more switches. I like yeah, switches. Yeah, it's not much room. I think Is that, that was something problem. that could have done it on the top. Would break on them, or was it was it very? They're very. Everything about the twenty six hundred is so sturdy. sturdy. Yeah. So let's do the next, the last one, uh, Nexion three uh, D. We're gonna go over this fairly quick. We've done it before. Because we played this game before on the show. Um, got to get the sound. Ah, oh, there we go. I think we're good at. Oh, I haven't played. Have I played this? I haven't no. played this. You have not played this. There we go. So, uh, Mr. Fix pre-ordered, arriving on Wednesday. Irk the Jerk in the future, so he's thinking about it. Um, uh, Jared Gray West, haven't put in an order, but it looks interesting. Maybe after payday. Arena Foot, waiting for the Retron 78. Yes. And there's something to say about the 78, hun, Retron 78 as well. 78. Oh, the sound's working good. Uh, Lord Monkus, I was going to order a Retron 77 back when I assumed they were going to have Composite out, but I have since changed my mind. Yeah, that would have been interesting for Composite out. So you could play it on a CRT and it would work perfectly, but I don't think that's going to happen. Uh, Restful Cargo pre-ordered it and arrived on Friday. I like it very much. Very cool. How does this work? Um, okay, so you have to hold down the button and press forward. Hold down the button. Hold down the button. Now press forward, I think. Oh my god, I've forgotten how to play this. Okay, so I'll, I'll show you what... Uh, no, I get, I get, I get the movement. Okay, I good. just, when the things jump up in your, um... Or is it down? Try down. Down. What? Down. Trying down, pressing down. Am I supposed to run away? And you're supposed to shoot them. I can't remember how to shoot. <laughs> it was not straightforward. It took us a while until we read the instructions. But try pressing down on the joystick and... That, no, you go forward and back. Okay, there's some way to You fire. go forward and back, right, and then you change direction, your movement. Fire and fire button and down to fire blaster. Okay, so you so do have to it. hit down. Try down and there you go. Oh, gotcha. And then fire button and left and right, right to strafe. So you have to find the key. Oh, you have to shoot guys 
they drop the key and then you have to find the exit. Yes. Yeah, you have to shoot shoot those guys. You saw him go to the right. There he is. Go ahead. Press forward. He's far away from you. Keep going. Forward. There you go. Now press down and fire. Oh, no, he ran away. Oh, he's somebody's shooting at you from the side, possibly. So you have to turn. There you go. Down and fire. There you go. Did I get him? Yep, you killed him. But he didn't have the key, so you have to keep hunting. Oh, I get it. It's a 3D maze. Are they doing ray tracing? That's very doubtful. It's probably just simple where is this block and putting it approximately where it's supposed to be. I think there was some ray tracing it. game. There, fire, down and fire, oh. down and... <laughs> I'm sure. <laughs> Oops. It's very weird. No, because I, I keep wanting to hit forward and fire. That's the yeah. problem. That's I don't what's know why they up. made it down and fire. Why yeah. not just fire? Firing does nothing by itself. It's super weird why they made that choice. So this is Nexion 3D by Brock Kige. Kig, Kig uh, uh also known as the Major Havoc on the Atari Age forums. Um, this was originally first posted in 2016, and the final demo was released in October 2017, so this one's new as well, newish, and was actually demoed at the Atari Age booth uh, last year at the Portland Retro Gaming Expo. And I did say at the time, when we played it, that this was going to be included on the Retron 77. I don't know if you can fire through walls. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh and Brock lives a couple miles away for, from where Arena Foot works. Works. Nice. Okay. You can. You want to play? No, I played this. Yeah, I'm. I'm. So if you want to watch the proper gameplay, you can go yeah, back a couple couple weeks ago. I think. I think this is a game I would have to practice a little. Yeah, it yeah. it gets. Uh, I think I think once you get the hang of it, it would be it would be fun. It yeah. just it's a little awkward. Which and and the the thing is, you don't know which way you're facing until you move. Oh, it's at the top. There's is the it? north, south, east, west at oh, the top. Oh, okay. Well, that would help. Yeah. yeah. Now would, I've heard this one described as very strange. <laughs> so, let's take a look, and not really a game. Come on. Sort yourself out. Come on. Oh. Nope. Nope. What happened? It's freaking out. Uh-oh. Hopefully, uh, these draw a very nice number of lines. Actually, that wouldn't matter. It's all HDMI output, so it should be fine. Okay. Don't do anything yet. Does freak out when I do that. Okay, now we can go. Yep. Don't forget, four by three. Yep. There we go. Astronomer 2018. Oh, so this is an updated version. So let's go to this. Astronomer is the first Atari 2600 game that I have ever made. Um, by Astronomer by Alex Petro aka Cool Crab, in the Atari Age forums. First posted in the Atari Age forums in December 2018. It is a simulation game of sorts that allows the player to get into the shoes of an astronomer and observe stars with the world's largest telescope. The aim of the game is to aim the telescope, beam at a star, and observe it throughout the night. This is achieved by filling up an observation bar. However, if the astronomer takes pictures of clouds while observing the star, the entire observation will be ruined, and the astronomer will have to start over. This can make his or, life, his or her life difficult, as there is only a certain amount of time to allocate to this one observer. Once his time is up, the game is over. Just like in real life, the observer who can do the most with their time can be considered the best, but this always will partially rest on luck. Can you get the high score? So... I'm 
So I'm guessing gotcha. those white things are clouds. Yeah, you want to avoid the clouds. And you got to keep it in your radar mm -hmm. as much as possible and build up. That so game sense. mode one, clouds change and speed up in a constant way, giving the player a chance to practice and compete. Oh, clouds! Ruined. Keep away from the clouds. Oh, oh. Oh. Uh, game mode two, the clouds are now randomized, providing the player with an ever-changing sky. Uh, controls. Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, we can play this with paddles, too, because it's uh, swinging left and right. That's kind of cool. Uh, It doesn't actually say how to really... Oh, there's... Okay, the stars are the yellow ones. Yeah, no, no. It's The it's, clouds are the white. Telescope beam is the thing. Yeah. The observation bar is the green. Yeah. And it, it sets to zero if you accidentally hit a, hit a cloud. And the button is observe, so you're not wasting time? Yeah, you, the yellow means you're observing. Okay, so you got to build it up. And then, like, yeah, you could turn it off while, while you go over a cloud, right? Oh. I can do that. Okay. Yeah, it's straightforward. It's a very straightforward game. Yeah. Oh, that it is very original. I do agree with York the Jerk. And Jared Gray West says this is an interesting idea. Yeah. It is very original. So it doesn't matter that you can watch it the whole time, just as long as you don't hit clouds. Well, yeah, and this is like, like this you can't one, get is, that one is really hard. That one's not happening. <laughs> no, you can't get that one. It's too hard. Too dangerous. Oh, oh, no. You got one point? No, it, it, it your score it oh, goes backwards. Goes, oh, no. So, oh, what? How do you, what? Your, your bar goes up the longer okay. you have it in your sight. Oh, so your goal is the bar. You want what? the bar to increase. As and then when it goes possible. behind a cloud, you basically, you can't observe it. Okay. But what happened there? I don't know. It went down to zero again. Goals. Fill the observation bar before the time runs out by pressing the fire button. Oh, that's just a timer then. You're not getting points. No. While pointing, uh, once the bar is full, you will get extra time and a new target. That's why it started over. So you have yeah, to fill the it. The bar's not that big. Yeah. Oh, that's interesting. So if you hit a cloud, it, the bar goes to zero. And you have to get the bar all the way to the top of the green. Oh, you hit a cloud, it went red. So you have 52, 50. Oh, that one's going to be too tough. Oh, you might get some in now. Oh, maybe. The angles are weird. There you go. Quick. Can you move while you're observing? Yeah. Okay. I don't think you're going to make it. 18, 16, 14. Oof. The st if the star goes off screen, you get a new one, but we'll lose time. The game is over when the time is up. My turn. Ha-ha. Oh. <laughs> oh no. So even if your thing doesn't extend, you are still observing it. Yeah, but you're not getting points until it, it's, oh. it's, un, it's in your line of sight. It's in the yellow. It has to be touching. Yeah, it has to be touching. This is a very it's unique neat. game. It's a very neat game. It's good for kids. Arena Foot mentions that Alex was one of the three programmers uh, who asked to be in his book. Oh, nice. Oh, uh, I can't get... Oh, I can get it there. Oh, give me careful! Oh, you just ran into. I didn't press a button. Yeah, you did. Did I? I think you did. Oh, you lose a bit of time when it turns red. I think. You, no, the green went to zero. Or did I start I over? I think you. I think you might have swung into a cloud. Oh, okay. Arena foot's book. Oh, it's on my shelf now. I actually finally put it away. <laughs> <laughs> I was careful. I was promoting it heavily on many shows, but now I finally cleaned off my desk. Oh, oh, gotta oh, swing all the way cute. around. Oh, okay. What? I was not pressing the button. I I noticed I, it did that to me too. I think it just resets itself. Oh. You lose a big chunk. You lose a big chunk of your observation. So I got two. Is that my no, score? No, no. It what goes down to zero. Or you got but two? How, maybe. But how do you know what the score, like your score, is? You got two stars, right? Oh. So this is the last game 
we're going to play, and then we're going to move on. To quantum. Qua what is it called? Quantum Tunnel. Jared Gray West's game, who's in the chat. Excellent. Let's go back to my notes. And we're also, after that, going to start going to play around with different games and see how they work and play a paddle some paddle games and stuff um quantum tunnel yes oh. and uh it's nice as as the arc your moving arc which is nice and the the clouds move differently than the than the star they move a little faster or slower. Yeah. Oh, almost. I oh, got lots of time left, though. But I want to know what happens. Why I got... Oh, lots of clouds. That's a tough one. I wouldn't risk it. <laughs> well, that's why but you don't get any points. <laughs> that's terrible if they're moving at the exact same... Like that. I can get a bit in. Yeah. Best not to... Best no. to turn it off, right? And then move. Yeah, Serena Foot in the uh, in the chat is an author and the keeper of the the keeper of the list of the homebrew list, the most extensive homebrew list on the internet. So that is the end of the four games. I think so. Um, I would say this is a really interesting one. I enjoyed it. It's yeah. it's fun for a little bit. It's yeah. not like oh I'll come back to that, but it's a nice one to show people. Yeah. Um, baby, I can't say I enjoy baby <laughs> very much. It's baby's, a one note kind of ba game. Baby's a bit unusual. I I mean I like the weirdness of it the and premise. the alien and the premise and yeah and, it's cute. But like you play it for a few minutes and you're kind of done. And I. Yeah, the the one with the DVD logo bouncing back and forth. Munch, I'm going to be thinking about that the whole time. Muncher is um, good, but I it think... It has the, a good playability. It, it does feel a little grindy the, trying to get every pixel every The field's too big. It. I like this one the best. I think I like the Astronomer the, the best. best. Yeah. And the other one, Nexian, yeah. I, I think I just need to play a little bit more yeah. to get used to the controls and, and, and the... Um, yeah. You know, the, it, figuring out which way you're facing and yeah. getting it. It's a, a very better complex hold, game. I liked it, and it's yeah. and it's very, very smart in the way it's laid out. Yeah, it seems it it uh, um, um, feels I, a bit Wolfen, Wolfenstein. Yeah, 3D -ish very Wolfenstein. Well, not 3D, just original well, Wolf. Oh, it is 3D, yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, you have to get a key, and that opens the door, and yeah. you get to the next level. It just reminds me of of you know. Playing that as shareware on my yeah. terrible computer. I think Muncher has could um, be a lot better if it had different patterns of things you have to get. Like they're all over the place, rather than just a. That would be field. an interesting yeah twist like an Atari on it. Logo yeah, if they were different symbols yeah. rather than just a square field. Or I randomized. Think, I think that or, would make it a little bit more interesting. Yeah. 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 And um, mm -hmm. yeah. An astronomer, but it, but it's not, it's not a bad game. Yep. Um, I think it, it yeah. has potential to be more, but obviously yeah. it's already done. All these games are done. Astronomer is very <laughs> simple and fun. I like, think it'd be a good kids very game. Simple. Yeah. Very good kids game yeah. to get them interested in astronomy. Well, I don't know about that. Maybe I, a bit. I, uh, I think yeah. it's just the way it tracks is a little bit unusual. The way it's kind of you're arcing across, and and that's your control. So yeah. Yeah. So now we're gonna pop out the SD card. Okay. And you load that? Quantum Tunnel on there. Yeah, I do actually. Oh, you haven't loaded it on yet? Oh, I see. No, we have to. Uh, yeah, we just opened it. Yeah, if you can get it. It is not easy. Definitely need a good set of nails. Yes. 128 megs. Wow, that's small. I've not <laughs> seen a micro SD card that small in a long time. Oh, I need my adapter. You can put that down. It'll take a couple minutes. Sure. Crunchy output. What? The output sounded very crunchy. Staticky. Didn't hear it? What? Like... Mm. 128 megs. Even at 128 megs, <laughs> it'll fit everything. 
fit everything you ever wanted on there for the 2600 so if this is the cheapest one they could buy mm. it's still fine <laughs> totally fine so i'll put in the adapter let's load it on and there's lots of room in the menu because originally it was going to only have a limit a hard limit of 16 games that they were going to allow i think i just have to load the actual games on there oh where is it no not that one there it is oh there we go it's under games so there is Flappy and Quantum Tunnel because I don't know if it can use directories so I'm not going to do that right yet. There we go. Um, we should try, I'm going to put on a couple more games that we can just play, play with. Uh, well, Jump Ninja, <laughs> of course. And Draconian, which is not going to work, but I'm going to put it on there anyway. And what other game should I put on there? Everybody out there? <laughs> These are homebrew games. Uh, Non-cartridge homebrew games. Flappy looks great in widescreen. Okay, we'll, we'll go for widescreen then. That's his game. That's I supposed his game. Flappy? Yes. Uh, and I have some Princess Rescue! Princess Rescue. Okay, Princess Rescue. <laughs> Princess Rescue. You. What else? DK VCS. Okay. Spies in the Night. Okay. We won't be playing these per se. We'll <laughs> yeah, be we're... demoing them for short periods of time. I was going to say, we'll, we'll be here for quite a while if we go through all of those games. No, no, no. We're not going to actually play them. You're just making sure they run. Uh, just trying them out. Yeah. See, see how they work and make sure they run. Or uh, Anything else? Space instigators? I don't know if I have that handy. I do not have that handy. So that's good for now. I think. Let's pop this out. Drive G. There we go. Eject. Huge. Huge. Look away. No. Oh, there we go. It's working. No. I'm trying to get him to stop moving. There you go. There you go. 128 gigs. Megs. Not gigs. Megs. <laughs> Was it up or down? We have to put this in, too. Can you put this in? <laughs> this is not for people with short fingernails. That is for sure. So if you have short fingernails, you're you're out of luck. <laughs> you are out of luck. App sh app Um, Oof. I do have that downloaded, but we'll go through these first. Oh my goodness! There we go. Off. Let's see what they show up as. So Happy. we're going to do Quantum Tunnel first. Sure. I'll let you start. I've been playing a lot more games than you have. Give me my pancake. Give me my pancake. <laughs> that's that's in another week. Not it's not time for give me my pancake yet. Um, okay, so there you go. Me? No, you go first. I've oh, been playing no, a lot of games. I have games. to read about it. <laughs> okay. Are you gonna tell me? Ah! It's Is supposed there... to be sound. It's happening. It may not be sound actually. I can't remember if there's sound. It's probably in six by nine too. No, oh, I just switched 16 it. Sixteen by nine. 
I switched it. Am, am I supposed to be hitting things? Am I not supposed <laughs> to be hitting things? Okay, go after one or the other color and avoid the spaceship things. That's, that's all you need to, to know. Am I supposed to hit the blues? Greens or yellows. Pick, oh. pick one. And nope, and he died. Don't hit the spaceships. Okay, so this is Quantum Tunnel by Jared Gray West, who is in the chat tonight. Thank you for uh, unmute it. Is there sound? I can't remember. There is no mute on it. Uh, oh, maybe I did do it right. Oh, I didn't. There we go. Thank oh. you. I thought I did that, but I, I guess I thought not. you did too. You might have done the opposite. It may have reset. Okay. Uh, by Jared Gray West, who also wrote Spies in the Night, who, which I have up here. Where is it? There it is. Spies in the Night, which was packed full with awesome, awesome goodies in this box, which has an amazing cover. Um, probably the only uh, noir game. Spies in the Night. Spies in the Night. Very, very cool. This is his new game, uh, which was released just yesterday. Brand new. Um, he said, hello all. I've been working on cleaning up and finishing some of my old experimental games. And first up is Quantum Tunnel. This game used to be a Atomic Disco 2. When Atomic I Disco 2. <laughs> it's a good name. Everybody will wonder where the first one was. When I first posted it several years ago, I was looking to make an old school abstract Twitch game. There's minimal story, just fast action. I also wanted to see how many objects I could get moving on the screen at once with the standard BB kernel. So this is written in um, Batari Basic and I did not even think it was written in Batari Basic. I thought it was um, an assembly game. This is, this is very nice for uh, uh, Batari basic game. And what score did I get? Did I did I save that? I did really good, but I, no, I didn't save it. That's okay. Oh, I minimized the Twitch chat. There we go. Arena Foot's waiting for Spies 2. The button, oh yes, the button will activate your slow time power. Oh, I didn't have that in my notes. So you can move. You can still move while that's oh, all. Oh, yeah. so you can get out so of the way. So it's like Matrix time. Yeah, oh. so you can move out of the, out of the way. Oh. <laughs> How far did I get? I got really, really far, but I can't remember my score. I did really well, and I was going oh, to post it. But then I thought, nah, that's just braggy. But I did beat... Uh, arena foot score that he posted so <laughs> i just didn't want to post my score but i did play it on an emulator so it is a bit different with like a joystick i was playing with uh the keyboard Ooh, that was weird. jared gray west says i have some good ideas for spies too but i haven't written any code yet oh. i got the i supposed to says i got the last boxed number spies in the night i can't remember what this this one was numbered but i can't remember what number it was i'm sure it's on Oh, yeah, I think the score in the front is all screwed up, he said. Mm. You'll notice a bit of weirdness or tearing or something on some of the oh, squares. Do you yeah. see that? Oh, yeah. It's a little rough in places. That is definitely the... Like, this is an old version of Stella. And I think yeah. a lot of the bugs are going to be showing. Our newer, our newer games. Newer games that, mm. like, they're not going to make it for Retron 77. They're going to make it for the newest Stella to test on. And this is this is the type of game that I, I love. I love these games. Oh my god, I messed up Oh, already. I see. The blue... The blue... Um, Knocks you around. No, but it also... I noticed the noise ah. goes down, so you must restart your... Oh, does it? I It must. I'm going to try that out when I get a little bit higher. Your... your um, what do I want to say? Not your high score, your... Bonus. Your bonus, yeah. yeah that's how he, d he describes it. No. No? no it oh. didn't. I didn't think it did. It just knocks... Oh, this is... This is rough. It's not it like this on... Oh, it's getting all crazy. It doesn't look like this on... Um, 
wow. on Stella, the new Stella. So it's people actually a bit watch, hard to watch. People watching this on the stream. Yeah. It's not how this is. It's it looks yeah. really good, and totally fine. Yeah, it's actually getting hard to. Yeah. Hard to look at. Yeah. And but that's a retron issue. It is a retron yeah. seventy seven issue. So do yeah. not, not blame. Not the game itself. Yeah. Because yeah. uh, Jared Gray West was saying uh, oh, it's damn. still a work in progress. What is this? Atari Age Quantum Tunnel. Yes, game is still a work in progress. I'd love to hear any bug reports or feedback anyone has. But this is, as you say, is likely because of the Retron 77. So. Yeah, so if you want to emulate what it looks like on the Retron 77, yeah. <laughs> you can just load up version 3. Point whatever it is. Gotcha. Um, and I don't know. Yeah. Ugh. Like your bonus goes back to... Why don't I have the notes for this? But your bonus goes back to zero when you start on a new color. Mm -hmm. And your bonus goes up. When you hit up. another color. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are playing that one with the guy who is falling and hitting things. Hitting platforms. Yep. It's similar. Man similar. goes down. Is it? He's like yellow, green, and orange. And Was that Man Goes he, Down? Well, Man Goes Down, he picks up fruit. Um, uh, maybe. I don't think we were playing. There was two of them. No, it wasn't Man Goes Down. Fall, fall Down? That's another one. <laughs> there was a number of them. Oh, I should have used that more. There's a bug in the title screen. The first digit's always incorrect. Okay. And is that the high score? Yeah, it's not your previous score. It's the high score. Oh, well, you went right into it. That's okay. Do I have any more notes for this? I thought I... I think I missed some. I think you'll have to uh, fill us in on the rest of it. Um, so it goes, I can't remember what it goes up by, but I think you reach a maximum number on the bonus. So we're going up like, oh, it's hard to tell now. Nine and four. 500 points now each? Yeah. I think you max out at 500. Boing, boing, boing. He's very bouncy. Yeah, very bouncy. Ooh. It's got really nice physics when you bounce off the wall. Yeah, it does. And I love I that like you that. and I love that you don't die when you hit the blue barriers. It just kind of shoves you out of the way. Oh. And also you get a choice of yellow or green. Yeah. If you like yellow, you can go after yellows. <laughs> if you like going after green ones, you can go after green ones. Okay, I'm having a hard time looking at this uh, with the flashing. Yeah. Unfortunately, it does it does flash like that um, on the original game. Well, but it also seems a little there is choppy. A, there is some choppiness to it because of the old Stella they're well, running on Well, that's what I mean. This. Like yeah. it's the choppiness, not the flashing so much that's oh. causing me problems. So it goes up by twenty five or fifty. Max is five hundred. Five hundred. Oh, good stuff. That's yeah, a little hard to look at. <laughs> Ah, reset. But I love these simple jumping or collecting games where it's 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 got the right balance mm -hmm. of risk and reward. But this simple um, color scheme works really well. Yeah, because you can tell exactly what's it's going on. It's very clear what you're going after. And, yeah, it's um, not muddy. It's not weird. It's not like, oh, I can't tell. And some games you play feel really limited, and this one doesn't. Limited in, in what you can do with it? Uh, what you're seeing on the screen. Oh. Uh, you know, there's a lot happening. Things are oh, moving at different rates. And, right. Um, like too simplistic. This is not yeah, simplistic. Yeah, this doesn't feel like a simplistic game. Seems like a more there's advanced. A lot, there's a lot ah. going on on the screen. So it's, it's There nice. is. There's enemies. There's things that there's, are there's pushing you out of the way. There's barricades. Things moving at different rates. You've got the bad little. You've got the other colors you want to avoid, but there's still colors. Monsters or vehicles colors. that are coming. Can I let the cat in? Uh, one of them is trouble right now because he's looks a. He's going to be looking for bugs. But if you babysit those cats, that guy's fine. <sighs> this, this is, is Atari. That's the Atari cat. Yeah. Why would we name him Atari? I don't. That's know. A, such a silly name. Yeah. Why are you named Atari? Hi, buddy. 
Another other cat's name is Pixel. Yeah. And he's a black and white cat. Yeah. But and he's his, more trouble. He likes he's, getting. I was gonna say his main goal <laughs> in life is to jump across your uh, audio board. So. Yeah, and press buttons. Press so that... buttons that he should. Press. Oh, whoa! Almost died there. Uh, Mr. Fix says I love simple games like this. Oh yes. my god, I love them too. Yeah. Like Wall Jump Ninja, it, where yeah, you're just. I love Wall. I love Wall Jump. It's Ninja. one button. Yeah. You're just jumping. Game. I haven't used and you the could pause. just play it for days. I feel like oh. that's a game you could just play for game, play for days. And also, it's very intuitive. This game, you can just pick yeah. it up and go. I kind of know what's going on. Yeah. Avoid the bad things. Pick up green. Watch out for walls. You're yeah. done. You can explain it in 30 seconds to anyone. Not that complex games are bad, but it's nice to have um, a, sim a simple game. Really simple game. I think I'm doing yeah. pretty good. <laughs> Well, you're still going. High score! World record! <laughs> Which I did submit that world record. Did you? Yeah. What was it for? I can't remember. Wall Ninja? No, 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 no. Like recently, when I when I was kind of joking about the getting the world record because nobody had submitted one for a non-emulated version of it. Uh. It was a game the other day and I submitted. So everybody vote for me <laughs> for world record and then I'll have three world records. At least on highscores.com. Highscore.com. Highscore.com. This is, I think, maxed out its uh, difficulty level. What am I at? 36,000? I may have to stop on purpose <laughs> soon. It's, it's, uh... Oh, no. Oh, I almost died. A lot of barriers now. Oh my goodness. So many. And I'm not really increase. Oh, there we go. See, I died. But I still have lives, so. There we go. We have one life. For one life one left. One backup life, I guess. One life to live. Ah, oh, damn it. Ah, ah, ah. Ah. So many barriers. It's more like hard to get points at this point not like it's just hard to get well why don't you pause you haven't had any of the pausing okay Ugh. that didn't help me at all is pausing a limited amount like you can no. only use it up and then it's done for your whole yeah. session doesn't I don't seem to be so it doesn't s oh, oh I'm the, done. the blue the blue runs out interesting I'm done my pausing's done yeah <laughs> oh well yeah, it's like a one-time thing. Okay, oh. there we go. 40,000. <laughs> oh, so. Flappy World Record, too. Yeah, I got the Flappy World Record earlier today. Nice. Earlier today? <laughs> yeah, I only have a screenshot of it. Oh. Which they take. But, um, and that was on emulator, so I have to do it here. <laughs> Excellent uh, game. Did you want to yeah, play the again? Bar no, good? I'm You're good. good. I'm good, yeah. Wow, that is a, an awesome game. Great stuff, Jared Gray West. I look forward to watching it develop. You get more pause when you get the max bonus from 10 particles. Oh. Oh, more pause. So you so get 10 you in a row and you get the blue. Oh, that's good. Uh, okay. okay, that's awesome. That's good too. It is Terry on this, so it's really hard to kind of look at it for is, a while. Yeah. But that is definitely not your fault because on the emulator I was playing, Yeah. it's totally it fine. It was beautiful, yeah. It yeah. looks totally fine. Yeah. Um, some ideas for death, because he was thinking, oh, how do you die? You can make him go bloop and disappear. I'm like, bloop. <laughs> make him shrink down and go bloop, bloop. You know those little lines? Like the like the um, Pac-Man mm -hmm. turning into a banana. Kind of, yeah. yeah. A banana? I guess he turns into a he banana. He looks like He's a banana. Yellow. He just goes, bloop. he turns into a used banana. Excellent game. Yes, yeah. Mr. Fix. That is true. So now we're going to move on to Ice Bostas. Flappy, Flappy which we haven't actually played on the show yet. So, um, but that was a last minute kind of thing. So let's just flip back to that and we'll get it going because you don't need to see all that garbage on the screen when we're trying to get it working. No. no. We'll wait till it's working here and then switch it over. Much cleaner. But it, I only did that this time because I wanted to show everybody what it was looking like when it was going through its, all its thing. So, Flappy. And then we'll unmute it, and then we'll switch it off 16 by 9. Uh, yeah. 
our whaleway. That one might be nice in 16 by 9. It won't shut. It'll cut off the sides a little bit. Yeah. Uh, quite a bit, actually. Yeah, no. Yeah, okay, we'll leave it on 16 first, by 9. See how it looks? So there we go. Sorry. It's flappy. <laughs> it's one button. And you have to flap your wings. Flappy bird. It's a lot of button pressing. <laughs> this may not be the right joystick for it, actually. I may switch back to the Genesis arcade controller for this. Because that button is terrible. That's a terrible joystick for um, any game that uses a lot of button presses. It'll cramp your hand. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look so remember. good in 16 by 9. Okay. He's, he's kind of half off the screen. Yeah, and this I've is... i told that you can unplug this while it's going, so... I'm putting... What are, you, what are you doing with that one? Can you use that one? Yep. I thought it was Maybe. freaking out. It was. And you freaked me out. I knew that was going to happen. Use the, use the red run controller. It's still... It's, it's still running. It's not crashed. No, it's crashed. No. Nope. It's flashed. It flashed the numbers. Yeah, but it's nothing's working. No, it is not working. <laughs> so Genesis controllers don't work mm. in this right now. The original one. Yeah, you mean? just don't break uh, it. Don't break it. Well, it's not the button that. It's not the button that uh, dies. So I think we'll be okay. <laughs> These are very tight fits. Yeah. <sighs> okay. Let's see if I can replicate my That's score. Better. So I've got tactics. See I got some now. tactics for this oh. one. It starts off really slow. What did I... Do you remember what I got? Are you supposed to? That I sent to you? Or did I send it to you? It was like in... like oh, I can't remember. I'll look it up after this. So how many... How many um... How many pipes you pass? How many pipes did you pass? You don't remember? It was like a hundred and something. Oh, I kinda, that's a lot. I kind of gave up, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I just stopped playing. Oh, he doesn't die. He doesn't... Um... No, you're fine on the bottom. That won't help you after a while. It's fine for the first bit, but um, after a while, you can't just sink to the bottom. You will... You'll die? Yeah. And it's kind of around now that it's... See, Not I never a good tactic. played, I mean, that was a iPhone game, right? The original Flappy Bird? Yeah, Flappy Bird was her iPhone, um, I believe. I had a version on my Pebble Watch, yeah. which was, I mean, one button press, it was very challenging. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, so this would only be the second version of this game. Oh, I my hand's cramping already. I believe this is the fastest it goes. Now, my tactic is that you just stay in the middle. Because <laughs> you can. Because if you stay near the top, you can't sink fast enough to yeah. get to a bottom opening. That makes sense. Um, and you can flap pretty fast to go to a high opening. I really like the background I use, Posta. Yes, beautiful. The clouds and like the little, the little, um. Buildings, on buildings the floating by, and the grayer clouds up high in the sky. Now, do the clouds in the sky move? Because I, oh, my it's hand right. is dying. It was 187. Okay, yeah. Let me just look that up. 187. That's right. Yeah, I want to use the Genesis. Cause that button is still a little. Yeah, this would be way better. How is the original joystick for button presses? Oh, this is better. Yeah? Yeah, I think I'm going to swap it out for my turn for the original. Oh, it's raining again. Wow. A lot of rain. No, 50 doesn't get any faster. Okay. Your score is 187. 187. So, cool. <laughs> yeah, I got bored after that. And my hand was super crampy after 187. Oh, yeah. My hand's cramping at 12. Yeah, that button's too... 
too clicky? Too hard, mm. too too clicky. I think this one, the um, the original. Oh, you can hear the 1977. rain. Nineteen seventy-seven. Can you hold that for a second? Yeah. Oh, black and white cat. Uh, Trouble. Here is. This is Pixel. Oh hi. He does not like being cuddled like Atari. Say hi. The clouds are at least different here. Oh, I don't like this. Uh, oh, I do have a track and field. Huh? Ooh, I gotta get that. That would be perfect. This is no good either. <laughs> is my track and field readily available? Anyway, Flappy works really great. I yeah, it always... does. Yeah. Oh, it is available. Oh, I'm gonna do one more. Any moment now, a bunch of boxes are gonna fall on the floor. Oh, I hope not. <laughs> This isn't track and field. This is the Sesame Street thing. What is that? Sesame Street? Yeah. I have a track ball. Oh, no, I found it. <laughs> I found it. That's for Sesame Street games. Cute cat. He gets all the likes. Yes, on he the does. Instagrams. Okay, hold that. Oh, Too many controllers out now. Wow. Oh, well, that's a loose fit. Watch the tail. Oh, sorry. Hi. Hi. No, I wasn't hurting you. Okay, now we have the track and field controller. Look away. Look away. Don't look at the camera. Don't look at the camera. There we go. Track and field. Yes, we are getting super serious now. <laughs> That's left, left and right, and left the red right. button is fire button or yeah. jump or throw. Oh uh, yeah, I think. I've actually never used this. Really? Oh, this is nice. <laughs> Just have to get used to it. It's really loose though. A little bit noisy, but not hard to press, which is the important part. Yeah, you can have little rests at the beginning of this game. Until your hand cramps up. <laughs> no, until you get to like 20, and then it starts going fast. Oh yeah, it goes pretty quick. Unlike Flappy Bird, this guy doesn't dive as much. I don't know if you remember. Yeah. Flappy Bird's like, whoa, whoa, yeah. and it's so hard, because he's basically doing like wave motions between the yes and it's like you have to time the the wave of the the dude oh getting serious it's now oh there's time. a lot of tearing the screen output is not good unfortunately and that's every game or at least any all, moving games well, right the ones you've downloaded well it doesn't matter they're all they're all wrong well, the cartridge they're all the same they're all just yeah. ROMs in memory. All so it does is read it. Were there the same issues with the cartridge? Um. Hey. Oh, that one's close. Hey. Are you playing with him? No. No, just <gasps> Distracting. Sorry. I like the Starplex, which the layout is exactly like Arcade Asteroids. Oh, I've never seen Starplex. Because our arcade asteroids, it wasn't a joystick. It was all buttons. It was like a left button, a right rotate button, a fire button. There's a lot of buttons. Um, a thrust button, a hyperspace button. Too many buttons. Would have been better with a spinner. Beep. is almost too easy to press. It's more like how I was playing on the emulator on the on the computer where it's a like a space bar. Oh, my hand. Ah. I noticed there's a lot in the in a row. <laughs> oh, 
I have to fly for that one. When I was playing on the emulator too, there was like four in a row were at the bottom when you're first starting out. Mm. I believe this made it made it onto cartridge, right? And he is going to get this put on a future Retron 77. Mm. So his he's going to be included. Ah, oh, oh, without well. without the sample. Ah, the Simpson sample. Okay, my hand is super crampy, so I'm not getting good score here. a little loose. Which is good and bad. And wrecked. What happened? There we go. Maybe it's a little too loose. It is for me. Yeah, I have to get used to it. It's not uh, like other buttons. Um, yes, it's in the uh, Atari Age Store Arena, Foot says. So we're going to try out some of these other games that you guys um, mentioned, like just really quick. What joystick should we use? Probably the, the Epics one, because that's overall the best. Hi. Can you come up again? Nope. I'll stay down there. With your fluffy tail. Ten. Oh, Jared Gray West. All right, everyone. It's 1.30 here, so I've got to run. Work tomorrow. Thank you for tuning in. Thank yes. you for your game. Because your game's awesome. And, uh, yeah. Thanks for staying up so late. We will be wrapping up soon. We just got to... So. You gonna start yawning? I have already started <laughs> yawning a little. Oh. And the cats are getting uh, ornery because it's almost feeding time for them. Ow, ow. He says, don't pick me up. Retron 77 plays Flappy better than Flash Bar Black 2 with cart, sl cart slot added. Uh, it's getting Terry. It is very bit. Terry. Yeah, any kind of fast movement, it just can't handle it. It's processor. Um, it's a little bit slow for the fast moving ones. I'm not sure what processor it is. I'm sure everything will come out and people uh, do some teardowns of it and reveal all the internals because I'm not sure that they posted any of the internals. Oh, I think you're doing better than me. Good job. Put you on highscores.com. Highscore.com. Oh. Oh. Ooh. Okay. Oh, I'm going to disturb the cat. All right. Hold that. Yeah. I'm going to quickly run through some of the other games you guys mentioned. Oh, that's so loose. That's right. Tear up the carpet. <laughs> now, which one is next? Your capture reposts are nicer. <laughs> it does look nicer on YouTube. Uh, I think... Um, uh, Twitch is not the greatest at, uh, we're going to do Wall Jump Ninja at uh, really fast frame rates. We want the lava, we don't want hard. Oh, he's widescreen. Oh, no. Uh, and there we go. Best is number three. Wow, that rain is really coming down. I don't know if you guys can hear it. Probably yeah. not. It is it's coming hard. But I've heard that the weather is going to be very, very hot and sunny this next coming week. Oh, really? Up in the low 30s. That's pretty by the end high of the week. for Vancouver. Very high. Ah! And I'll have everybody out there know that I am the world record holder for uh, <laughs> Wall Jump Ninja with 67 rooms. Um, I will not get that this time because it's very hard. Oh, and then the sound is off. But I'm not going to do that right now because it'll disrupt my game. Can you get the cat? Because he's about to get on some electronics. But it plays really well on this. 
so far. I'll be back. Uh, okay. Bye. <laughs> Left all by myself. Uh, yep. Yeah, no glitches whatsoever. Looks really good. Yeah, and uh, the stream is posted on YouTube afterwards, every time. Um, usually the day after. Oh, I'm missing all the letters. I'm going to be dead. Because I don't have enough letters to do the warp when I want to do the warp. But we will see. But I can't miss any more letters. Or it's not going to work. Uh-oh. See, it's already getting closed in. Now I need the J and the A. Oh, oh. Not dead. Damn it. So, anyway, that one works really well. No glitches whatsoever there. So let's see what the next one is. Rena Foot, it needs to go to bed soon. We'll wrap up really quick. It's going to do a couple more games that you guys suggested. What is next? I'll make sure to turn on the sounds. Now this one is not going to work. This is Draconian. Uh, it's very advanced. It only works in version 5. It didn't even work in version 4. And this is version 3. You need to do another show tomorrow night to try more games. Maybe. Am I doing anything tomorrow? I'm not doing anything tomorrow, I don't think. Uh, doing another proper stream on Wednesday at f what time is it? 4, 4 p.m. 4 p.m. on Wednesday Pacific Time, 7 Eastern. Now, see, this one doesn't work at all, which is totally expected. Um, and, uh, yeah, we can get into more some con different controllers maybe tomorrow. Maybe. I don't know. People might be burnt out. Let's see. Princess Rescue? Will this one work? It's a pretty old game. It might work. Pretty old game. Oh, it looks like it works. Let's do that. Turn on the sound. There we go. Ah. Ah, terrible. Does BB with DPC plus like my DK or Satan's Hollow work? Well, we, I did load up a Sa uh, DK, but I don't think it was yours. Ah. Um. I don't think anything with DPC plus is going to work on this. Oh, popcorn. I've gotten a second wind. <laughs> <laughs> popcorn. I'm just hungry. Oh, this game. Oh. Princess Rescue works. Princess Rescue. So far, so good. Sounds good. Yep. Sound is fine. Controls are fine. Oh. And I did finish this game. If you want to check out that stream. It was very hard. Very, very hard. Well, not quite as hard as you. You got through it in a, a couple the panda. hours. Yeah. Panky the panda was the hardest. I think. Mm -hmm. That was the most frustrating for sure. Mm -hmm. uh, DK VCS, uh, which is not the DK that the guys are talking about. So in the chat, somebody asked me to load this one. Mm. This one looks good. Hmm. Yeah. Really nice. Really good, actually. Yep. Yeah, no problem. Right into the fire. Terrible. Anyway. That one works. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I have one more loaded on here. And we'll do a couple cartridges. Just to see how, because we haven't done any cartridges yet, really. No, yeah, you should 
put a couple on. Spies in the night. Oh, it's too bad Jared Gray West is gone. This is his game. Mm. Spies in the night. So oh, I have to turn the game. sound on, which cuts out the feed for a second. And then go, oh, not black and white. Actually, it doesn't matter in this game because mm. it is black and white. Well, it's gray. Okay, so flash. Oh, oh yeah, that's Jack Duck. Thought it was down for a second, but it's not. It's the button. I'm gonna go at least do the first level. So in this game, it's black and white, it's noir, and you have to hide from the uh, light with the, um, what's that thing called? Lighthouse? <laughs> the lighthouse. <laughs> I couldn't remember it because I just said light and it's like, I can't be something to do with light. That's too <laughs> obvious. Um, and you have to make it to the end to defuse the bomb. And I have 19 seconds left. I'm almost there, but I got to book it. Got to book it. This might be the one. Yep. 11. 7. 6. Five. Woo Destroyed the lighthouse. Nice. Yep. That is a fun game. Mm -hmm. A little repetitive. Actually, there's a second setting. Can't remember which one. I know it's switching it to A. Where guys come out of the right hand side. I can't remember. You have to dodge them? Yeah. They shoot you. I can't remember. But mm. anyway. Very cool. Okay, so what should we try? I know that Draconian doesn't work because it doesn't work as a ROM. Um, I'm not going to put anything in Stay that... Stay frosty! Oh, that's a good idea. It's not going to work. No? Nope. You mean Stay frosty too? Oh. Oh, uh, one will work, probably. Try Stay frosty too. By Daryl Spice Jr. Mm -hmm. mm, I hate opening these up over and over again. Should oh. just use the ROM. Please try the oh the harmony. Yes, it won't work, but I will do it. I'll do that first, actually. Okay. Harmony cart. Going in. You guys can see it there. Oh, it has to go backwards. There we go. Throwing my harmony cart. No. <laughs> uh, I do have Stay Frosty 2 on ROM. It's not it's not gonna understand even what this is. Is it gonna say anything on the screen? No. No. <laughs> Black screen of death. Just nothing. Nothing. It doesn't know what this is. It's like, what? I have to do what? <laughs> With what? That's way too complex. I think this game is too big. I think it's, it's if it's over 16K, it won't read it. I mm. believe this is 32. I think. No. no signal. No. Oh. Oh. What? Oh. I almost just bypassed it. It's like, I don't even know what you plugged in. <laughs> Funny. Yeah. No harmony. No DPC games. Nope. There's no DPC games. So that does not work. Stay frosty too, at all. So you can pretty much, if you want to know if it works for ROMs, you can just load up Stella, this version of Stella, mm. on your computer and try and run it. Okay. Anything over 16K won't run. Anything with DPC Plus won't run, I believe. No, it won't, because it... Oh, as a ROM it will, possibly, because Pitfall 2 does run as a ROM. Mm. Uh, we'll do... What is a more advanced one that I have just on cartridge here? 
Mm. Try Jump VCS. It's a small game, though. Mm. I mean, it's no point in putting in big games. They're not going to run. They're not going to run at all. At all. all. So it's you just going to be a blank a few, screen. You want to try a few um, games that, in theory, should run. Yep. It should run. Uh, jump VCS. There we go. That should run. DPC Plus games on ROM files should run. My uh, Stay Frosty 2 is not numbered. It's in the unlimited uh, version Ooh. of Stay Frosty 2. Yeah, I, this is not a big game. Yeah. So I knew it would be fine. Come on. There we go. This is a fun game. It is a fun game. Simple and fun. Yeah. One of those games that's just one button. Just jumping and running. And you don't even do the running. You just do the jumping. You should be playing it with the track and field controller. <laughs> uh, one button. Well, this isn't in an intense jumping game. So this one's... I, I don't mind playing it with this. Mm. If I had to go click, 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 click. Fair like enough. firing. Mm. Oh my god. This joystick is terrible for that. It tires your arm out. Um, a little hard to tell the screen tearing because all the windows are the same, but you can tell a you, little bit at the can, bottom. You can tell it at that the it's, bottom. That it's tearing. So the video um, processor is not keeping up with any kind of side scrolling game. It's not, yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not doing well. I'm not super impressed with that. No, it should look good. It should look perfect. It should be able to have enough power to run it, but they, they went on lean, lean processor mm. to keep the costs down for sure. Um, which also explains why they can't run, um, more advanced games that use the newer Stella because mm. it doesn't have the hardware in it. Oh. Oh, I almost died there. Yeah, oh, there's the screen tearing. Yeah. Uh, this is not a color game. It is. It, it is. is. Oh, it does get color after mm -hmm. this uh, level. So. Every level um, changes color. Just black and white at the beginning. Yeah. The skyline is almost the... The skyline is almost the shade of the sky. That's wrong. <laughs> That's wrong, yeah. Um, it does it, blend it, in I very well. I think it well. does change. Oh, on the... Uh, sorry. There, see? It, now it changes colors. On the broadcast, it is not as distinct. Um, the skyline and the, the sky. Um, on the TV, it is. I've tried to play with the broadcast colors as much as possible to give um, as much latitude to the colors as possible, but it doesn't... I've had, had trouble finding a really good middle ground where it's not too dark it's not too bright but everything is is stands out anyway there's nice color there we go so that works i mean uh, yeah we'll, it does we'll, we'll do one more and then we will retire for the evening mm -hmm. i think i mean it's it's almost predictable which games are gonna work and which ones aren't the simple ones are not are gonna work just fine. Uh, sure, let's do Ladybug. Let's do Ladybug. This one is a bit more advanced. I don't know if it's 32. Mm. I have a sneaking suspicion it's 16, but it is pretty complex. Mm. This one's number 26. Yeah. You see that? Nope. This one is limited. Yeah. Oh, it just came into focus as I pulled it away. And it comes in a Coleco cart, which is mm -hmm. very cool. Oh, there. Number 26. Let's try this one. I don't think this one will work. Has a very nice um, slot to put in. It yeah, feels it, it really feels clean solid. and solid, That's and good. not like it's going to um, like scrape the cartridge mm -hmm. at all. 
works. Yay. So that's pretty good. Let's get to the screen tearing. This one is, well, this one's a static screen, so there probably, there won't be any screen tearing. Mm. Should look okay. I've totally forgotten how to play this. Uh, oh yeah, now I remember. Okay, you have to spell out when the letters are the right colors. Um, see the stuff up top, special mm -hmm. and extra? Um, so I've already eaten all the letters, but you get extra lives if you spell out extra. I can't remember what happens with special. Uh, you got it at PRGE. Yes, I did. Uh, even number sold at PRGE. Oh, that's an interesting way. Mm. Arena Foot is the keeper of information. <laughs> he knows exactly yeah. <laughs> what happened when and who got what. Exactly. And, and yeah. Ladybug 16. So it just squeaks in to be able to. Oh, ah, get out of here. To be able to be played on the system. And I believe in the forum somebody has started a thread of what works and what, what does not work on the system. Mm, excellent. So it is handy mm. in case you're wondering which games, if this is the only console you have. Yeah, what <laughs> games are going to work with it. Yep, wait for all the bugs to come out. If your poor Atari 2600 um, dies, or dies on you. Then you really want to play a certain game. Yeah. I mean, some of... Certainly, I, do, I mean, I don't know about the size of the cartridges, but couldn't there be software updates that might help improve the playability of certain games? Yeah, I'm gonna. We're gonna have to wait for the hardware experts out there to see if it's a hardware limitation about reading the bigger cartridges, mm. or if it's a software. Mm. If it's software, no problem. Yeah. You could upgrade the version of Stella. Um, you can upgrade so that it can read the bigger cartridges mm. and and be able to do bank switch properly to get all the information because it has to it has to recognize what type of cartridge it is and then go through all the banks of ROMs inside mm. because banks uh, are 4K and it has to go 4K then the next 4K and read it all in go mm. and then assemble it as a ROM. Gotcha. Send it to Stella emulator, and, and Stella runs it. And runs it. Okay. And that's why I can't get some of these car bigger, bigger cartridges games. because it can't read all the spots mm. on the cartridge. There we go. And that is our look at the Retron 77. Mm -hmm. um, aesthetically, <laughs> let's run through it. Mm -hmm. Aesthetically, great. Mm -hmm. Nice, tiny, the buttons are really good. It feels solid. It doesn't feel like light and cheap. It is light, but actually it's not. It's got some heft to it, actually. No, well, it's lighter than, than the original console, obviously. Yeah. What is it that? It is, mm. yeah. Wacky HDMI out. Mm. Um, compatibility, for my purposes, as a homebrew... Enthusiast? Enthusiast. Yeah. <laughs> no. It's going to get a thumbs down. For that yeah. unfortunately it it can't play a lot of the advanced new stuff that's coming out mm -hmm. unfortunately so my library of homebrew is just not going to run very well on it mm -hmm. um the joystick i don't want to say right now because they are sending out uh, upgraded ones soon well the joystick itself playing it i liked it i liked the joystick I, yeah. I, it felt good, and it's not and bad. and it unlike the older kind it's of. It's better than the old one. It it doesn't have a lot of travel, so your movement it's quite sensitive to your movement, and it has a really like I was saying. It's, it's more like this clicky one. Yeah, it's much but more less like, travel. It. Yeah, it has much less travel, and I I like that a lot. Two buttons and are nice. I do actually like the kind of brushed um, matte feel of the joystick. Is makes it actually grippy. Yeah, feel it. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's very grippy, it's but, got it, a nice but feel. it feels like that um, plastic from the 90s that turned to goo after 20 years. <laughs> I, I don't know. I doubt it's that plastic. But it's you probably know. not that plastic because yeah. they probably don't make it anymore. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. But yeah, the left and right button is nice. Yeah. Um, so in terms good, good of 
the quality of output it's not good no. the video well, is the a tearing. lot of tearing yeah and i don't get that tearing with the original uh 2600 mm -hmm. and it's hooked up exactly the same i've never seen that tearing yeah um so that means it doesn't have either a good enough cpu processor a, a good enough video processor mm. or they have not synced it to 60 frames a second one of those three things like the vertical sync is not is not right and the recessed corners yes yes yeah the recessed corners really make it so you can play it for more than more, half an more, hour a little bit more ergonomic in the hand because yeah. there's one on the the right yeah, so you can rest smart. it one on the left so you can rest it for yeah. the fire button or opposite if you're if you're yeah whichever fire and it's ambidextrous which yeah. is great yeah the controller's great yep. i i have no no issues with the controller it's quite a nice controller um yeah the widescreen option's nice i just if you want to stretch it, it. default to that yeah because you're switching it every time but it is nice and they can and fix that with the software upgrade if if yeah, they can and, but know. i mean it's not the end of the world you put it in you flip it it's yep. not it's not the end of the world so. i'm not an expert on palettes but some people are very very pick, picky about the palette of the uh, color of the colors of making it exactly precise as the 2600 mm. and um my 2600 mod has multiple color settings that you press a button on the back mm. and you can switch between the palettes like a uh, a more muted one a or really more more vibrant more more vibrant mm -hmm. yeah um oh i posted wanted more information the flickering is not right select the other flickering option in ladybug well we still have it plugged in so you're in luck <laughs> we're gonna select the other flickering option please tell me how to do that um, because Arcade? Oh, is it this? Mode? Uh, advanced? Novice? No. Is it the difficulties? Tell me how to do it. Good night, Arena Foot. Good night, Arena Foot. Please type it, I suppose. Um, <laughs> yeah, the video is a big problem. That's, that's like a deal breaker almost, if I knew about that. But... <laughs> maybe they can fix it mm -hmm. if it's a software issue and they just need to time it right because yeah. it does seem to just be it's moving jagged. up and yeah. it's just jagged on one spot yeah. so that can be fixed <coughs> it's one of the a b switches it seems to start okay. at the bottom of the screen oh yep whoa. whoa there you go that's uh yeah it's the second difficulty switch so i think we can start the game and um oh. and let's get the sound back on yeah so that's that's nasty crazy how come the joystick isn't working because it's not the joystick that i'm supposed to be using okay so that's one mode that's another mode oh it's only these two yeah, I got much worse. <laughs> it's like a line of purple greeny that's kind of in the center. Is it coming for me? Get out of here. So the original one is a little better, but not great. It's still got that flickery, but at least it's all the same color. But it wasn't doing that before. We made... Oh, now it's gone. It's because it's the outside timer. That's the problem. But I didn't notice it. I didn't notice that flickering. See? And it goes oh, back it as it goes down. It does. You're right. It's when it's filled in. Weird. So if you go back, yeah, it's terrible. Terrible, terrible. Mm. Yeah. So there you go. There's <laughs> your answer. I didn't want to leave you hanging there. <laughs> okay, it got worse. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it got worse. Yeah. It gets worse. <laughs> um, what else? Um little disappointed on how old the Stella version is yeah it's not even the newest like somebody said in the forums it's not even the newest version of version 3 yeah and that version does work mm -hmm. somebody already upgraded it mm -hmm. in the forums 
But uh, the good news is that hackers are on the case. <laughs> and they are upgrading as we speak, Excellent. the Retron 77. Excellent. So they're trying to figure out right now how to get version 5 into it okay. and do uh, um, their job for them. Hyperlinks, hyperkins, not hyperlink, hyperkins job for them. <laughs> um, but it does, so we'll, we'll have to see how that pans out. Um, that's about it. Any other final no, thoughts I mean, on it? I know you're, you're looking at it from the perspective of liking homebrew. the homebrew games. Yeah. Um, for someone who may pick up cheap old cartridges somewhere, they totally might totally fine. They might totally love it. You know, they might love 99% of the old games will work. Will work. Yeah. So that's another aspect of it that, yeah. um, that I know you're not that interested in, but it's, no. it, it is, it is. I mean, I am. Um, well, I'm, I'm playing old games. Playing, but o playing old games, I do. I do play them. And yeah. when I set up like a a gaming event night yeah. here, this is a great, actually a great option. Yeah, it for is. that. It is. Yeah. Um, rather than you know, <laughs> I have an RGB modded Atari Twenty Six Hundred, which is a kind of a little pain in the ass to move around because mm. I have to bring my Frame Meister. Yeah. And I have to bring other things and yeah to get it running properly. but now i can just use this yeah yeah for almost all the games most of the games yeah so that that works in my case yeah. um, for that but for homebrew for this show no it's not going to replace not, it's not helping you it's yeah. it won't work for the show no it's not going to help my homebrew whatsoever because all the new homebrew well uh, is not going to work and the rom it won't work some, some of them will work on the wrong. Some of them will, some of them won't. Um, like the new super fancy one that Daryl yeah. Spice Jr. and Thomas Yench is yeah. is out is putting out and a lot of the other guys mm. that are uh, the upper echelon and pushing the limits of this twenty six hundred. No. No. It's not gonna happen. They're they're just it's gonna sit there and not do anything. Yeah. It's gonna give you a black screen. Yeah. Um so that is that's it. Yeah. I think that's what how it relates to homebrew. Um, I don't know if another, s oh, 3.93 plays Stay Frosty 2. So you can play good. the ROM for that. So that's good. Good. Hope they, they are addressing the joystick quality issues. Uh, if you haven't ordered one and you do order one, you'll probably get the new joysticks. Mm -hmm. They may just actually ship out the old ones until they run out. Because they haven't really given a solid answer on that. If you look at... Uh, their Facebook page and how they're answering that question. Mm. It's wishy-washy. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I'm just going to give you a preview of what's coming up in the next show, which is on Wednesday uh, at 4 p.m., not 7 p.m. We have something to do later that night. So 4 p.m. Pacific time, 7 p.m. Eastern time. And it is going to be a big show. You do not want to miss it. <laughs> two exclusives. Nice. Two exclusives that are not available to the public. Uh, Aardvark, brand new, almost finished cartridge ready version. Beautiful. Oh my God. Wait till you see it. And boom. You may not even know it, what it is. And I'm not going to say what it is, but it's very, very, mm. very exciting. Um, yeah, if you search around, you might figure out what it is, but I'm not going to say it yet because it's super exciting and you want to know about it. Uh, Homestar RPG work in progress, uh, Avalanche work in progress, Timmy work in progress, Frantic work in progress. It's an all work in progress game. The last two are Daryl Spice Jr. games that he made a long time ago. Um, and he's going to be working on Frantic again coming up soon, but we'll get into that when the show happens on Excellent. Wednesday. That's and a lot of games. It is, but some of them, some of them aren't, <laughs> They'll you be know, quick. games. Okay. They're a they're first try. Kind first of try. Gotcha. Yeah. They're early stuff, but they're still really interesting. Oh, okay. Um, that's Ar exciting. and Erlen will be joining me on that day. So that's awesome. And, uh, yeah, 4 PM, not seven, yeah. 4 PM Pacific time, seven Eastern. Um, so yes, I supposed to thumbs up yeah. and that's it from us. Uh, thank you for tuning in all the new people. Yeah. I don't know if you stayed up this late to watch <laughs> right to the end. Yeah. Let's see how many people are here. Probably not as many as started out. It's, oh, there's quite a few still left. Yeah. So thanks for hanging yeah, around. Yeah, for sure. Homestarwana.com. Yeah. Yes. <laughs>
I wish they posted more videos, but YouTube doesn't work well with those guys anymore. No. They have short cartoons and they don't make any money. Oh. And they probably burnt out after like 15 years of doing yeah, it no before kidding. YouTube became popular. Hi, Lord Monkus. Good Lord night. Monkus. Good night, Mr. <laughs> Fix. Good yes. night, Restful Carvo, yeah. Cargo. Have a good Ice night, Bosta. rest of the night at least. Most good, places it's later than here. Good night, Irk the Jerk. Sometimes I tune into your channel, watch some of your crazy uh, uh, Super Mario Brothers jumping at the wall and dying over and over again. Nice. And trying out uh, glitches. But um, that's it from us. And you'll be back on Friday? Friday, I think. Am I? Yeah, Maybe. I think so. I think you're back on Friday. Okay. Oh, no. I think it's... Oh, stack. it's Saturday. Yeah, it's not Friday this week. Yeah. Saturday, and it's Darcy. We have, a, we have a shifted week this week. Yeah, it's things all are happening, place, but, but uh, yeah. Sometimes it's un unavoidable. So, it's unavoidable, yeah. yeah. These all were right. things planned out before the show even got established. <laughs> so, good night. Yeah. Have a good, good night. night. We'll see you on Wednesday. Yeah. Bye-bye. See you soon.